CRT Rex here, let's take a look at the hardware and software being used in this playthrough today. The CRT of the day is the Sony Trinitron BVM D14H5E. This particular one here is equipped with three input cards. Martin Heinfeld's CART and VGA version of the BKM129X, the BKM127W with CVBS and YC inputs aka composite and S video, and an original BKM129X with, of course, BNC connectors supporting RGB and YPPPR. We will be utilizing the latter today, YPPPR. This monitor is also fitted with a 16x9 mask, which is perfect for the game being played today. This is a multi-format monitor with frequency ranging from 15kHz to 45kHz, or in other words, it is capable of displaying 240p, 480i, 480p, 720p, and 1080i. We'll be taking advantage of that by using today's game officially supported progressive mode or 480p. The console of the day is an NTSC J DOL 001 Indigo Color GameCube. Equipped with a GC Loader ODE, which is in turn loaded with the outstanding all-in-one homebrew app Swiss. We'll also be using GCHD Mark II, a video output device made by Eon in collaboration with the illustrious Dan Coons. This device enables dual HDMI and analog output, and it also saves you from buying a very expensive official Nintendo component cable, opting for a much cheaper and accessible Wii component cable instead. The controller of the day will be the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Controller, made for the GameCube by NubiTech. I'll be using the controller for the entire duration of this playthrough. We'll be hooking up the console via YPBPR, aka Component, to the Sony BVM BNC input card, while simultaneously an HDMI signal will be sent to the Elgato HD60S Plus capture card, which in turn will be working in tandem with OBS in order to capture the footage. And the game of the day, of course, is none other than the outstanding Resident Evil 4. What a legendary game! And that'll be the original 2005 release, or you guessed, the Nintendo GameCube. The legendary Resident Evil 4, which now has been talked even more than ever because of the remake. But this is a great game, obviously considered one of the greatest games of all time. Some people consider this game to be perfect. I'm not part of this segment, but I'm part of the team. Resident Evil 4 being one of the greatest games of all time, for sure. It's an excellent game, and uh, again, my nostalgia for it is non-existent. I never played the game back in the day. First time I ever played was 2017. It was right around, I think, the time the Switch came out. I played it on the Wii. I don't, I don't even think I had a GameCube at the time. Now, I was hesitant. I was hesitant for, to, to play this game for, for many years. Uh, first, because I missed the, that gen of consoles, but even when I went back, I was like, I'm a huge, huge fan of the original trilogy, especially the first and the second one, especially, but I also like the third one. I'm just not as good in the 
familiar with it as I am with the second and the first one. I consider those games should be the pinnacle of survival horror alongside Silent Hill, which is also a beloved series franchise for me. Uh, I'm, you know, now there's a big debate going on currently. It might be outdated, but you know, the time you're watching this, who knows? But there's a big argument now, some scandals going on about uh, YouTubers. You know, the people that love those games so much that they start fighting with each other. So the fight obviously being the original versus the remake and, and this and that. Uh, and it's fine, a question. Listen, you like the original uh, Resident Evil 4 and you don't like some things about the remake or vice versa. Now, the thing for me is just to consider them completely different games. Resident Evil 4 Remake is a completely different game that is loosely based on the uh, on the original one. Not even loosely, it's heavily based. But I, I see them as different games, that's all. So I'll be playing the remake. I'm not, uh, you know, hostile towards it in any way, shape or form. And again, I have no nostalgia for it, for this game either. But what I have, is the memory of the one time I played on the Wii being the time of my life. It was excellent. So when I, I decided to play this game, I was hesitant. There were two games, so obviously I know the trilogy. So it was finally time to move on and play the next Resident Evil. So which one? Code Veronica or 4? So obviously I had to play both. I decided, decided to play Code Veronica first because looking at it, it looks like more like the OG ones. And I looked at some footage of Resident Evil 4 and I didn't think I would like it so whatever so I played Code Veronica and if you love that game I'm sorry to tell you not a big fan uh, don't hate it it's just not a big fan it wasn't what it was cracked up to be in my mind okay so maybe I was expecting greater things somehow that shouldn't have been or couldn't have been there I'm not sure for me the backtracking uh, Steve is kind of annoying. There's a few things in there, although Steve is just plot, so it doesn't really matter. But anyways, in Resident Evil 4, I didn't think I like it. And when I played that game on the Wii, I, I just loved it. Uh, important to note here, I'm not riding the wave. It's nothing to do with the remake. Well, it is something to do with the remake. When I saw the remake and I wanted to buy it and I couldn't afford it, what's the next best thing? You know, it was to play the original. I was like, well, you know, I played that on the Wii a very long time ago. Why not play it again? It's an awesome game, and boy, I wasn't wrong. You know, the game is, is, is it's just great. It's just a great game. Now, with all that being said, there's a few problems that I, I want to point out. I'm not trying to be a contrarian. This, like I said, didn't grow up with this game, so I will feel free to criticize this and any other game here on the channel. Uh, but keep in mind, I reiterate that I really love this game, so those are minor things. Now, one thing I don't... <laughs> Here's the testament of this game here. Let's let's just switch gears here real quick. The game has things I hate. Quick time events, I hate it. Escort missions, I hate it. Lack of collars, brown everywhere, I hate it. Focus on action and not survival horror, I hate it. <laughs> How slow you are, I can't, that I have to stress, man, it's very slow when it turns. I don't know if you can, correct that but there you go check i hate it repetitive en enemies you know you can only see you see a lot of ganados keep coming back where they even went to the same you know barber because uh, they have they, they look the same uh and all of that would usually make me run away as fast as i can from a game and yet on resident evil 4 it just works perfectly none of those things are a real detriment to the experience. It is that good. It is a testament of how great this game is. Uh, and the guy too, uh, Shinji Mikami, uh, sorry if I mispronounced the name, genius, you know, uh, genius, that guy. So the game is awesome. So what I like to say here, what I like to say here, I don't have anything very negative to say about this game. This game is the the pinnacle of gaming. It's, it's just, it's fun, right? You know, I didn't grow up with the game and somehow I still feel nostalgic. I go play the game, it's cozy, it's comfortable, it's good, it is fun, it's like a thrill ride. It's just, uh, Resident Evil 4 is the bee's knees, is the cream of the crop. If you haven't played this game, 
Don't waste time looking playthroughs anymore. Go pause this stuff, leave this video and go play it now. Then you come back. Don't spoil it for yourself. Play the game on any platform you can. Uh, it is awesome. They have the remaster and if you really have the computer for it, go check the the, the HD project made by fans and, and take a look at the backstory. You'll be really impressed. And if you have a computer that can run, I would recommend that one as well. And of course, if you have a GameCube or if you have a Wii, just play there. Doesn't matter. Just play the game. It is excellent. You know, uh, probably the best version. I mean, hands down, has to be the Zebo version, which is a Brazilian console. And obviously, that's hard to compete with it. Of course, I'm being sarcastic here. The GameCube, the, the game was tailored for the GameCube, but it took off on the PS2. Uh, and it works very well there despite the uh, downgrades, you know, graphically speaking and maybe some other things here and there. Uh, but it added some things to like the, you know, the, what's it called, the ADAS missions there, I forgot the name. Uh, it has things going for it. So if you have the PS2, you don't have a game, you play on the PS2, it doesn't matter. It's The game is great and it, no matter which way you cut it, okay? Now before we get into it, I just want to say a few words here to my uh, subscribers, the usual viewers who are returning. Thank you very much. I would like to tell you that I'm very excited about this new microphone I'm speaking to right now. It's the Rode NT-USB. This microphone is just so much better. I'm so happy that I'm finally free from the old one. And from here on out, I'll be able to use this microphone for every playthrough, really. And it's outstanding. Unfortunately, I only bought this microphone after I had already recorded a Resident Evil 4 playthrough. So for all the Resident Evil 4 videos here, unfortunately, you'll be the old microphone. But for any videos from here on out, you'll be done with the Rode NT-USB, which is a hell of an upgrade from what I'm used to. Okay? Now, another thing I want to say is that for those who are not used to my videos at all, I don't have a lot of subscribers, so you're liable to be new here. I cuss a lot, so if you're sensitive to strong language, if you're sensitive to occasional bouts of rage, uh, then my videos are definitely not for you, and I would strongly suggest you get the hell out of here, because you're not going to like what you hear, okay? Uh, there's plenty of uh, sort of PG-13 uh, channels out there, and I'm not one of them. Now another thing, if you're a usual subscriber, and unfortunately I had to let go for now of the no commentary. Reason being that I, I cannot keep up my internet here, it's absolute trash, and to upload, you know, a massive amount of gigabytes here with the, with the new content, especially long content like this, it's absurd in four different uh, videos of the same playthrough. You know, we have the CRT commentary, CRT no commentary, then capture card commentary, capture card no commentary. Uh, two is already hard enough, so I'm gonna stick with CRT commentary and a capture commentary for now, and that's the way it's just gonna be. And if you follow the no commentary, I'm terribly sorry. If there's a demand for it, I'll try to put an audio up. So something some to that effect, but ultimately I gotta do what's best for me and doing all this uh, is just holds me back tremendously for from delivering new content and I want to try to do it a bit more often and this video will be special too because it's 24 hours of footage hence why I don't want to do four because it'll be 96 hours of footage having to be uploaded to YouTube so because it's a uh, quite a long playthrough I divide it into chapters and I'll be releasing them uh, probably weekly and then after that of course we'll move on to other games consoles and CRTs so I think that's it. That concludes all the talk and I have uh, about everything. And uh, let's go and get some plug-in time and finally get to play Resident Evil 4 on the Nintendo GameCube. Let's go.
four. Topcom. Forget everything you think you know about Resident Evil. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. My father? Oh my god! What's going on? Don't worry, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Evil has evolved. Resident Evil 4 for Nintendo GameCube. Rated M for Mature. Only from Capcom. Excuse me, sir? I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? I am not! Small world, eh? Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident at Raccoon City on my first day in the Force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I'm coming for you! Resident Evil 4 1998 I'll never forget it it was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished.
Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? You, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Anyway, so let's begin. Uh, if you skipped here from the pregame talk, if I have a pregame talk, you would know by now, and if you don't, I'll just tell you now, that I will give you a heart attack if you're good at this game, or if you're a speedrunner of any sort, because... Not that way, cowboy. I like to look around, I take my time, I uh, trigger cut scenes. Forget your makeup or something? And I'll probably die and fail a lot. Uh, this is my, sort of my second time playing this game. Let me take care of the crows and the failure will begin. It, I think I got all three of them once. And that still stands. I am not going to attempt to get that crow in the air. I have done that before a couple of times, but a couple of times I also wasted all my bullets. 
and including the part just before starting recording here I had a reset because I embarrassed myself by trying to shoot the, call in the, air, the crow in the air and uh, I lost all my bullets. So I don't like to hide my failures. Uh, you know, I'm a grown ass man. I'm, I got nothing to prove here. I'm just playing the game for fun. Obviously, I'll try to be good at the game a little bit. You know, not to embarrass myself too much, but uh, is usually not. So I'm not so su successful at it. Why am I stuttering so much? Anyways, and yeah, indeed, talking and playing the game at the same time is always a bit tricky. The guidepost reads Pueblo. And Pueblo means village in Spanish. I speak some degree of Spanish. It's not perfect. Uh, pero yo comprendo un poquito. See? So let's go uh, and see. For, there he is. Yes, son of a bitch. Dare I? It's going to waste all my damn bullets here with this shit. Yeah, I, I will save the embarrassment. Just let that the beast go. I am a big fan of the way this game looks and uh, you can see a little refresh rate. Static refresh. I can't get rid of that. I don't know why if you're watching the CRT version. Uh, but you know it's not perceptible all the time. But I try to go 60 and 60.1 on my uh, shutter speed which is you know as, as fine as, as a fine tune as I can get and 60.1 makes it worse. So we're coughing a little bit. I'll lay off the Marlboros, my friend. Anyways, let's go. Uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering if he might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. That's the funniest guy. It's like this crying or something. Now, he's not a zombie, in my opinion, is an indication. Oh, let me mention something. This. If you saw the pixel art, I made a, a terrible mistake. Why can you not go my GameCube? Thank you. Go go away. Anyways, I thought that this, uh, those things here on top of this here dirty ass table, that there were logs, but turns out they're just dirty ass pots and kettles. Anyways, another thing you can see here, this. Oh shit. Alright, let's go up there. And I feel like, let's reload, and I feel like this game is so beloved that whenever I say something about it, I feel like I'm stating, stating the obvious. <clears throat> what, what the, god damn it, I, I usually don't get hit here, but this time it, oh my goodness, this started very poorly, very, very, very poorly. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. 
Oh man, I should have knifed him. I panic a lot. Like I said, I'm not very good at this game. I'm not good at all, actually. Matter of fact, I had to say where. The Ganados, they have the tendency of overwhelming. Oh. Fuck you, bitch. And you. Alright. But I already took damage, so not off to a brilliant start. <clears throat> here, but at least I have a little bit of breathing room here. I'm most concerned with those goddamn leaves sticking on me. With my health, uh, so anyways, uh, I played a game, in case you skip, in case I mentioned before, is there anything left here? I'm going to take a quick look at the house, I like to look around, and as the previous Resident Evils, you can click on things, and you know, something rotten is caked on the table. It seems like someone was eating here until just recently. Something is burning in the fire, but I can't tell what it is. Yeah, them logs say anything? So, never tried to open this. Anything? No. Is that it? I know you can break the windows. Anyway, so yeah, I don't run a lot uh, unless I need to. So if. If you're very used to this game and you played it to death and you're good at it, this might not be the footage you want to be looking at. In fact, it's a bit embarrassing. But at the same time, this is my second time playing this game, except for one other time. Uh, eight hours I played last time, and my memory card, as you can see now, I have an official memory card, but before that, I had a knockoff. That was terrible and let me down many times. It gets corrupted and I lost my saves and I had to do it again. But you know what? I'm going to say, also, I'm going to save a lot. And this is the previous save right here. Yeah. So, okay, eight hours down the drain. Okay? But you see here, three hours. So, what happened is four more hours I played the game uh, with the good memory card, but then the footage was so dark it was kind of useless now i'm going to use the screen here if you don't mind to just adjust the shutters not the shutter speed the iso levels a little bit more there we go until the one is at least legible on the screen if you're not watching the crt you're watching the capture card and none of this crap is making any sense to you as because i'm recording also at the same time the crt showing the hardware and everything and it's a bit finicky to uh tricky really to record CRT as well uh, anyways that should be it so I'm gonna write on top of this here file let's go so what happened there yeah uh, four hours that, that I played then again after losing eight hours do a crappy knockoff shitty ass memory card and then what happened is after four hours playing then I decided to play first time I played with a GameCube controller then I decided oh what the hell? Yeah, you'll be a little period of confusion here until... Now! Idiot! Not Leon, me. Oh, the dog. What's this? It looks like a warning of some sort. I have a bad feeling about this. Of course. Of course it will help the dog. Or coyote. I don't know if they have coyotes in Spain. I haven't looked that up. Anyways, you can take a look. So yeah, I I know about. I watch a lot of people that are good at this game. Max, uh, G Star, my friend, everything flows. Um, and so I know about the Zerb here. But I haven't absorbed a lot of what they have to say. To be honest with you, I'm not. Uh, oh, goodness. I didn't know there was this one here. So you can disarm those things by stabbing. That's how I usually do things. I didn't know that was in there. Because I usually just stick to the trail here, the beaten path. 
But here I know there's one right in the middle. How do I know? Because I fucking stepped on it like a dumbass as hell. First time I came around here. I used to. Un forastero! Un forastero! That means a foreigner. Or I like to try to attract him to this part here. No, 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 no. Let's see. Come. He's coming in the middle. Fucking genius. Yeah. There we go. Like the doofus that you are. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, there it is. I think it's funny those here, their bodies don't disappear. You know, it's funny the first time I played, they look normal to me. You know, just like peasants or something. And of course, then later on there's all the crazy stuff uh, with the heads. Uh, and I'm desperately trying to get this uh, chainsaw controller because it's bright yellow, not to reflect off the CRT screen, which is very difficult. And I think it just says Pueblo again, right? Yeah, that's it. We, we already seen that. So trying to find, finish my sentence here. Uh, yeah, the footage was too dark. Unsavageable. Uh, and for the first time, I tried to actually edit and save my footage in post. And it just didn't work. It was so dark. If it was light and I wanted to make the CRT screen a bit lighter, it would have worked, maybe. Is there people here? Oh, my goodness, this thing. Look at that. Yeah. That's rough. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find her fast. Okay, sometimes, as you know, you open them crates, you get... I thought it was wrong. I, I, I guess they don't come up in the beginning of the snakes. All right. And I think there's more enemies here, right? Is that correct? Yes. So the kick, you get those invincibility frames. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Basta, hijo de puta. That's enough, you son of a puta. You're saying that's, that's enough, you son of a bitch. All right. Reload. I have a thing sometimes for getting reloading. I get after up the A, you know, if you do. Now, let me try to remember the buttons here. Is the Y button. Okay. And right off the bat, I'm going to try to organize my stuff and put the uh, red herbs, well, all the herbs down here. Uh, I'm trying to do that a little bit. Hope I'm not hitting my GameCube here. And just to keep it tidy from the beginning, you know, sort of like when you have a drawer at home and it's just going out of control, and after a while, you got to dump all the contents out of the drawer in, there in order to fix it because it becomes unfixable within the drawer, you know. I got a drawer like that at home right now. I have to fix that shit. For now, not a lot of stuff. So, yeah, it was a bummer. The eight hours losing the footage because I was in the spirit of the game. I had made as far as what the first or six. First El Gigante, I think I was on my way to the second one. <laughs> I love the dialogue. I'm aware, apparently, that... Oh, there's one here. That they're uh, not actually Spanish, but Mexican-speaking European Spanish. Ooh, ooh, I like to. I like to shoot. It's something about Back to the Golden Eye days should be... Tekohi? No. No Tekohi. Alright, let's stop the bullshit here. I did hit him before, like that. Come on, come off it. We know you're in there. I think I'm too far. Can't. No. Oh, uh, yeah. The, see this yellow in? The TV has been doing that. The TV. You know, I wish they were all called TVs because I gotta be sw switching between calling them TVs and monitors. I wonder if other languages have that too, or if it's just for all one thing. Because my understanding, I think the TVs they have, they have to have an RF. So if it's a monitor, uh, don't have no RF uh, modulator and none of that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's been doing that yellow 
thing. I have two of those, uh, those sets. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. I always found it funny they say playing manual. I don't recall that. Uh, the first time I played a play on a Wii. Uh, first and only time. Playing manual. I'll be reading this, so uh, free, feel free to fast forward. There's a little bug flying around here, spacing me off. Get out. One, reloading. Press the B button while holding down the R button to reload your forearm. Kicks, approaching enemies that are either stunned or on their knees will allow Leon to perform kicks as prompted by the action button. Changing inventory screens. Use the L and R buttons to switch back and forth between the weapons recovery and the keys treasured screens. Thank you. Let me check that the screen is not too dark. It's fine. I like to be secretive here. That's good. Language. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't care. Mierda, pendejo de mierda. So, obviously, a bunch of lunatics. All infected with less plagas. This is the... <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Grab this stuff. Right, come on. Nobody's kneeling. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm trying to get... So I can... I can do the kick. Woman has some vicious fucking small shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to keep my composure here. Alright, come on. Panicking already. I will use a grenade here. See if that takes care of some of them. I really panic is well the honor of this controller here Doctor Salvador come down from there you yeah stab you to death you motherfucker get down again you fuck come on come on come on no Then I'll go. I'll go in. I'll go in and get the uh, Doctor Salvador, the guy with the chainsaw. Pasta, Go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's trigger him. Why are these people? Chainsaw. Son of a... Awesome. What the fuck? Okay, I'll do looting later. Let me 
let me go ahead and get the stuff. I don't like to fuck around with, with Salvador here. Okay, get this shit. Where? I'm, I'm gonna come out. Terrified of that guy? With the, cha <laughs> the chainsaw? And I'm gonna, I think... Oh my god, there's so many of them. Do I have any? Oh yeah, I do. Okay. I don't know if I should wait on... Okay. Oh my god, no. Come, 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 come. Go get the stuff, maybe there's some shotgun. Oh my god. Okay. Yes! Come on, dude. That guy. He's gonna fucking chop my head off. Something about chainsaws, huh? And I operated chainsaws before. Okay, I don't know. No, no. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No! No, 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 thank you. Please use that. That was close. Fox! Get out! Oh my god, get at me! You fucking clingy motherfuckers! Oh my god! Oh god, I wish I had a fucking... Okay, out of the way. God damn it, so hard over... everyone going? Bingo? There's the iconic line. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Alright, now I think, um, oh no, still there. I want to get my loot. Oh my god, I need all this stuff. Yes. Get all this and talk, thank you. I've done worse here before. Uh, while testing the footage, I, uh, I did a segment a few times, you know. And, uh, I like that guy, Tenetimus, Tenetimus, there we go. It's a lot of supplies. So I'm going to do some looting here, and that gives me a chance to, you know, blabber on about nonsense here. I think, oh, the map is here. It's very weird. The button's down here. I got to hit it like this. Uh, yeah, it is. Is it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I need to, I, I need to look around for loot now. And I did take some damage more than it's... Two things for me. Oh, this guy. It's actually pretty ugly. Um, don't know if you can see on the CRT, but yeah. If, it don't, if only I'd come with me. Yeah, that's true, though. You could have. You probably would have made it. So let's check the houses here for some sweet ass loot. Uh. Because I kind of panicked there and didn't do much of explorations. Now, I, I think I think I've seen people playing this game and they kind of sneak around. 
which is pretty cool, I think. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a lot of loot looting in this game. Make sure I get everything because I need all the help that I can get. Trust me. There's an unpleasant odor coming from the kennel. It sure doesn't smell like a refreshing drink to me. It's just bad coffee. What a sinister looking feller. That's Lord Sadler. Of course, when you play the first time, you don't you don't know that. Yeah. Oh, incendiary. Uh, yeah. There's some more loot in here. Then I'll make sure to. Uh, I wish. Oh. How do you like this view from your house? You know, look outside the window, having breakfast here, having having you Kellogg's, your your total. Oh, how's the weather today? I can tell there's only a feller burning, a dead body burning, like it's the Middle Ages. Hurry! <laughs> Drama. All right, no oh, red herb. Cool, cool. So I check this uh, place where I came from. Let me check the next house here. Oh, that's the big one, is it? Oh, All right. Oh yeah, because it uh, barricaded it. What the hell? Oh yeah, you can barricade that as well. I just get the hell. I, there's something about being not seeing Doctor Salvador, the guy with the with the chainsaw. Trust me, you don't want that feller behind you, you know, without seeing what he's up to. Because next thing you know, it triggers the cutscene that you had. Just you get decapitated. <clears throat> Some treasure. Good. And shotgun shells here. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if Ganados even sleep, do they? And that's Sadler again. Now, Sadler, I always thought it was kind of odd. Uh, they're in Spain, right? And they're saying Lord Sadler. And his name is uh, Osman Sadler. It, it doesn't sound Spanish to me, you know? Um, what is this? Oh, here. Alright. Yeah, uh, well, it's possible, you know, his, he could be like his mom is Spanish and then his dad is from, from England or something, you know, and, and, and that's how he got the name. The name is a, a good indication, but not always, you know, the whole story. Because, again, it comes from your dad's side. So, you know. I have Scottish ancestry, but I have a Dutch name. So, but if you just look at my name, you see Dutch, but not, not really Scottish. And there's other stuff, too. Some Portuguese in there. Ah, uh, French. Anyways, oh, you can climb up here. And I think if you're in the middle of a fight with the Ganados... They throw uh, mo Molotov cocktails all the way up in here, which is, uh, you know, it's a pretty good throw, pretty good distance going upwards with that throwing a full bottle. I would say I don't know if I could do it. Oh, there we go. There's some. Well, you know the thing. I want to avoid being the sort of feller. It kind of pisses me off, like like this, like playing like this. Uh, yeah, there's a door. Oh, there's a. a, a you know, a, a little cart full of manure. Uh, oh, look, look. There's a, there's a ladder. And I cover There's a window. There's a champ. Yeah, just kind of descri <laughs> describing what you're doing while you're playing. I mean, obviously, you are watching it, so you, you know what's going on. I should be describing everything. I, I want to make sure that I don't feel any gaps or voids already been here, haven't I? With uh, boring dialogue. Oh! in here. Another chicken. I can rack it out there. Wonder why that painting was originally. 
there's a dirty bed in here. It appears that the stains are a person's blood. Yeah, it does look like it. It's the environment that I love fall. I oh, what happened if I oh is this just to block the uh, fellers coming in right? No. Uh, let me take a look at my inventory the, at the shut case. Oh, sorry, press the wrong button. I'm learning still. And I like to organize everything here well. So I want to move the, the herbs down here. And I want to just combine them. Uh, grenades. Okay, let me see here. Uh, ammo, I reckon, down down here. And this here. Yeah, that, that ought to do it nicely. Yeah, it's important, I think, to, to keep everything nice and clean. So yeah, uh, a lot of the, another problem I'll have here, if you know this game quite well, is the choices. Again, I know it's uh, surreal that I played the game only only once, the game, a game of this caliber. Now, you, know, you call yourself a gamer, you played Resident Evil 4 only one time. I missed out on the 6th gen. I just did, except for having uh, a PSU shortly. No. Uh, I pretty much missed out on it, on the whole thing, so I didn't play this game, and it took me a while to get back in a game, in. and, you know, and a bit of stubbornness as well, I won't lie to you, oh, let's, no, let's stick with the, uh, down here. I know the original trilogy, yeah, that's the one that I played, well, oh, there's the yellow crap again, I wonder what that is. Bet capacitor, something. I'm using Nintendo official cables. I never have this problem elsewhere. Maybe check the footage, make sure. Yeah, no, we been here. Yeah, that's where the shotgun is. <clears throat> I gotta look. Uh, up, is it? Yeah, the spinels are later. The spinels are the blue medallions. But I know there's something shining on the roof. There we go. Now. I watched you just start playing this game, and he, he calls it Spinel, so I'm going to go with that. If it's Pinel, then I'm sorry, but you know, i got to pick one of the, one or the other. And I, I never heard this word before in my entire life. Okay, I think I'm sucking around here now. I hope I've been everywhere. Have I been on this one here? I don't think so. I don't remember going up this, this hill here. And I have, and I'm fucking around, and I think maybe it's time to head on out. So what, I, what did I... There's a map. <clears throat> There's a save in here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's the way I need to go, right? Yeah. So if you go... Yeah, that's the church. The kirk. Let me see. Is it? Yeah, it is. What happens if you just try to open it? It just knocks on it or something? Is this a sick... Oh, look at this. That's why you look around, you know? Hell yeah. Oh, this is where the lady is working the first time, is it? When it, when it comes to the back part here. Well. That's for later. Yeah, it's just uh, the village part is just such fantastic atmosphere. Uh, man, the leaves here, they kind of, it's fantastic atmosphere. Let me take care of this more array a little bit, and that I do that by going slightly out of focus. Let me see. That's making it worse. There you go. Just you, uh, you know, ease up on it here. There we go. More array is just, uh, you see, you've seen those lines. Yeah, that's pretty much more array. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a pizza dog. Now, see, you know, seriously, I'm, I'm not sure what else is out here. I'm pretty sure I'm missing out on... Isn't there a part where you get the jewel, jewel by shooting a stick so it doesn't fall in the shit-ass water? Is that, is that here some, somewhere? Look, 
look at this. I haven't even been here, you dumbass. And I got nothing for my insolence. I think this is a way out, is it? Yeah, it is. La Hacienda. Yeah, like now, instead of filling the void with some bullshit dialogue, just stay quiet, you know? Anyways, let's read that. Alert order. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you who are not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner should stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow man, stay alert. Chief Betores Mendes. The big cheese. That's the, a very ugly motherfucker. I find him repulsive. I want to take his coat off. His, uh, you know, even when in his human form, I found him gross. I don't know. Something about him. Like his, you know, smells bad. So here, yeah, there'll be a safe point here, anyways. Oh, there's a yellow one again. And if you're watching a capture, that's uh, my CRT is yellowing here and there for some reason. This part has a lot of exploration. So it starts a bit slow if you're watching this. Like I said, feel, feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch all this. Uh, a lot of medallions here, but there are... I, I have to heal, don't I? Somehow. Yeah, I I don't want to die here, so... Oh man, the problem with healing here is that... Uh, even that I'm confused, because I know if you heal, you want to heal with the... Uh, let me have a smoke here. You want to heal with the yellow herb, right? Because that stretches the limits a little bit. But... But I don't have a yellow herb here, and I don't know when I'm, I'm going to have one. So I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and use this. Otherwise, I'm going to die here. And I don't want to cheese the saving. I don't want to do any cheesing. I want to play normally like I would if I was back in the day. And, you know, and I don't have the expertise to cheese this game anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and save here. Uh, my SD card is good for four hours. After four hours, I run out of space to write new data, and I have to stop the session. But of course, I'll put it all together as a single video because I like to keep the channel nice and tidy. I'm going to take care of this, the Ganados first. Good morning, rat. Did I manage not to alert the other fellers? Die already! Did I? Oh! oh. oh. Trying to throw shit at me, you fuck. Oh fuck, I'll stab you in your bald head. Cross your fat ass back, your love handles. Basta, hijo de puta! Where's your friend? I know there's more here. Another problem I have while I'm stabbing a guy, I get kind of greedy, and then there's a guy behind you, and it just kind of grabs you, you know? I don't think it's the case here, right? The atmosphere here is incredible. The whole game is like this, in a way. I'm just going to make sure, because I think there's a Ganado here. There he is. How you doing, sir? Working hard or hardly working? Well, 
Well, let me help you here. Call it a day. What the fuck? What's going on? Chicken, chicken is freaking out here. There ain't no chicken feed, you know. I think that's all the. I think, I think that's all. The, I'm just thinking what the hell's going on with the chicken here. Ah! You fuck! <laughs> that, <laughs> that motherfucker scared me. Fucking hell, that did. Daddy did. You little prick. Holy shit, that's what happens when you don't look around, you know? Came out of nowhere. I didn't... Uh, you sneaky little shit, you. <laughs> that, that got me. I, I never had that happen. Like, son, really get me like this. Oh, come on. All right, so those blue, blue medallions, you exchange for a, a weapon that I read online that is kind of useless and some feller said it was good. I'm just going to get rid of it and give back, back to the merchant and, and sell it. Because that's what I've, I've been raised to believe, you know. So, but first, take a look around. There's a secret place in here, right? But is this the place with the, uh, let me shoot that, this one here. There we go. First. Yeah. There we go. And then I'm gonna go down here. There's a, a secret of sorts here. It's like a secret crate. You know, one of them boxes. And then you push a, what is it, cabinet. The beer's time. Okay. So yeah, it's just starting to get cold here in the shed. I have to stop in a bit to get some. Am I sure that all the Ganadas are gone? Wait, there was a, right? There's a thing that showed up here real quick. Yeah, I'm not coming out now. Is, is this even the way? You see? Uh, like I said, I don't know. Yeah, it is. I don't know this game quite well, you know? And that's fine. Don't have to. There's plenty of professionals out there to play this game like, like gods, you know? And uh, it's fine not to be one of them. It happens. I play a lot of other games, and I don't want to hurt chicken. Can you? Please leave, sir. There we go. And this one here. One thing I wish Leon would do is uh, when you look down. I don't know if this is by design that it could be, be maybe a tiny bit quicker. I don't know if there's a way of adjusting that. To be honest, I haven't looked into it. Uh, you know, when you look down with the, to stab a feller, or an enemy with the, with the knife, I feel like it, it, it sort of takes forever. And when I played this here the first time, I was sort of a... Oh, he mentions here. About the blue medallions. Fifteen blue medallions, seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. For those who, of you who destroy more than ten medallions, you'll be awarded. The rest is illegible. No, no nothing else to say here. You're gonna be rewarded, so you might as well do it. They're freaking out here. We you lay an egg, so eggs can heal you. I want to look for it. Oh, there's uh, one of the the things, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, first time. When I came here, did I do this? No, I dropped in the shitty ass diarrhea water. Oh, come on. Like a dumbass. So, of course, now I know. Felt a bit embarrassed, not kind of figuring out. It is a pretty self explanatory puzzle. You know, if you're not in a big hurry or being a dumbass, you can figure that out quickly. Uh, another thing is about those blue medallions. So the first time I played, I looked around, spent a great deal of time looking at things. What's in here? Okay. Uh, oh, the bodies. Can't believe this. These are all dead bodies. And they are. I wonder what the deal is with them. What, they didn't fall in line? They didn't follow the doctrine? Oh. I don't mean to scare you, feller. Oh, yeah, the other thing is the, uh, you check the map here. Is that... 
Oh yeah, so I, I need to have a tiny quick tiny break here because I'm very cold. It got cold here in the shed and I need to put some uh, uh, a fleece here, fleece jacket. There we are. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got cold here. It's got very cold here. Oh, that's so much better. Anyways, if you check the map right there, while I do this, I have a tiny bit of a smoke here. You see those blue spots, and uh, they're pretty much the medallions, right? The first time I play, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me mentally. I just didn't check. I don't, you know, just play, just let's go, and, and not paying attention to the fine details of things, which are, you know, but I thought, I don't know, it just didn't cross my mind that it would give you right off the bat. The, the location of the blue medallions, I think, I thought that you just had to look around, so I didn't, I didn't check this, this map for it, you know. But on, on the other hand, it is kind of fun to look around, at least for me, you know, look around the, 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 the map and see what's, what's going on, what's cooking. You know, find, find it for yourself. I, I like exploring. You know, although sometimes it can be a bit frustrating if you're spending a very long time on it, on, on something. So, okay. So the next one, I will, but I will follow the map, of course, here. So that's uh, up there. There we go. That's it. Oh, there's a bear here I haven't touched yet. Yeah, and I'll, 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 I'll be missing probably a lot of secrets and things here, so, you know, sorry about that. I will try my best to play it okay, but uh, no guarantees here uh, if this will come out okay. Okay, so it's just going for, I think this is the one that is all the way up behind the barn, right? Yeah, I think up there, right? Yeah. Gotcha. And then what, one more? Which is, oh, this one is towards the end, right? Yeah. And after I loot everything here, I'll probably, oh, didn't open this, huh? You son of a gun. I opened the other one. It's very easy, very easy to lose track of things and miss out, and then later I'm hurting here to, you know, to have some 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 weaponry, some ammo. So I want to make sure. I know it's boring to watch, but I want to make sure that I get everything before I'm moving on. And then yes, I will do a save because I don't know about the game's checkpoints. I'm not experienced in, experienced enough to know what where they are. So I don't want to just you know do all this shit here and then go down the road a piece and then just get killed immediately by failing a quick time event. Because I know the boulder thing is coming up. Damn it. Alright, let's do th this other fella here. Well, there it is. Yeah, good. I always like when I don't lose it. Lose ammo. I don't want nonsense. Wasn't there uh, something here? I always found this part kind of annoying. I don't know. Yeah, raise up, I reckon. There we go. I need to, uh, so go back and take a look around, make sure I haven't missed anything, save, and then pro proceed to the next section of the game. Where I die on that boulder, the coming up boulder. I died on it before. Okay, so it's all the way to the end. What's in here? I've been here, right? Yes. It's an empty cart, and then this is... Wait a second, this... Oh, this is the, the part going forward and coming back. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, right here. I'm trying to memorize where the stuff is so I don't have to be checking the map every two seconds. But I'm not going to feel guilty about checking the map. I, you know, like I said, I don't know this game quite well. Played it once. Granted, played this part here up to stage, I, I think, two, three. It's as far as I went. 
And then Ashley is going to be, she can hide on this here later on. All right, I'm hoping I'm not missing anything, but I think it's time to push on forward. I think I checked everything that I could. I don't see any nests. I think that's later on, right? Maybe there's something behind here that I haven't seen. No, just some scared chickens. And I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it I got. Alright, I'm going to go save just in case. And then we go on to the next part of the adventure. Make sure my inventory here, my attache case is okay. Uh, right here, and then this here. Excellent. Put this here. And you know what? I'll move it once it's close enough. The idea is leaving things, space for other things. Uh, okay, for now that's fine. So it's been an hour. It's been an hour, and I'm still on uh, one one. Okay, let's uh, speed up a tiny bit here. Oh, there's an egg. Is that it? That chicken laid an egg. Thank you. Don't want to scare you. And I, I'm tempted to save again, but I don't want to be, you know, a Captain Pussy here and just save every two seconds. So if I lose the brown egg, I'll probably be very pissed off, though. Okay, but let's... That's right. Where, where the fuck am I at? All right. So, yeah. So I want to go up. I've been here. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, wait, wait a minute. Sorry, I'm being a dumb fuck. Uh, it's nothing to do with that. Uh, that's for later. So the way out is just, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, no, I've been there, right? It's just right here. Anything inside there? I'm just so scared of losing, missing out on things, you know? Should be fine. Love the atmosphere walking in the in the woods in Silent Hill. Sorry, it's like, it's like oh man, but I'm looking forward to Silent Hill 2 this year, uh, this year, the remake in Silent Hill. I have something you've been waiting for such a long time. <clears throat> but anyways, I like I love the atmosphere of Resident Evil 4. It's just I love fall, and I I just love it. It looks amazing. The sounds. Oh shit! It's okay. Ah, uh, thank God, didn't get killed. I hate quick time events. I won't lie to you. I won't sit here because you know I. Fuckers! There ain't a benefit on killing them. Do you see them later? If I shoot one of them, will they fall? <gasps> Mother f Son of a bitch. Can you reach me from here? Prick. I'm just curious. No. Okay, then. So, some jewels here. Oh, look at this tunnel. And there's the bats. There they are. Very cool. Why would I be so far away like a douche? Get, get in there, hero. Very cool. The sound of the water falling is awesome. 
And this should be a good point for me here to try to make the footage a tiny bit brighter because it is, uh, I can see here, is excessively, uh, yeah. Hmm. How much I can do apparently, I think. It's just dark. It's just the way it is, huh? Okay. Sorry if I'm taking my time here. I really am. I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere. I'm not in a hurry for this playthrough. It's going to be long regardless. So, fudge it. Oh, this is the dynamite fellers. Oh, shit, I see him there. Trying to make it. <laughs> it reminds me of that Turkish movie with the lady shoots this guy over and over again and just keeps trying to reach. Damn it. Will it blow up? Oh. All right, there's a lot of traps right there. Yeah. There's a lot of goddamn traps here all over the place. I will disarm them all. Disarm them all before I run into them like it. Oh, the blue thing disappeared. I saw it. Uh, give me some time here, man. Let me disarm those damn things. Does that mean everything else disappeared inside there, too? Isn't there a guy here? Fucking bastard. Yeah, I remember him. Alright. So. Oh, grenade. Awesome. Check. No clues here. The door's new, should. Okay, so let's get out of this bungalow. Right, I got everything I needed, right? Is that it? Yep. That sneaky little shit was in there. And still be careful here. I cannot remember if there's more ganados about, sorry, more traps or ganados. Oh, there's a box here. Oh, great. Love the ammo. Keep them coming. Thank you. And you know, when I play this game eight hours first, and then the second time around was fresh, you know. I, I had seen what just happened. I remember the ammo that I had and the things that I did. The second time around, I had less money, despite kind of pretty much looting the same way. And I found that very interesting. Oh, there's one here. I, it, like, very different. I think I had 40,000 the first time, and then the second time, like 30, you know. Look at the level detail here. You can, <laughs> you can actually shoot the spiders. I don't know if you can knife them. Maybe if we get closer one. It was, it was worth, it was worth it, uh, wasting a, a bullet there. Just to see that, that the amount of in interactivity they put into the, in the, this game, the developers, it's awesome. Amazing. I think that's it, right? 
and I think it's Louise inside that house. Let's go. And it's great that this game that this game is good because any other game I have a thing that if I'm playing a game and I lose the save in any capacity it puts me off a game completely. I, I don't even want to fucking play it anymore. And I think that would have been the case for most games. But this game is so awesome that I, you know, I had to wait a few days because uh well, I think I was talking about earlier how it's no sense on leaving this uh, I'll save and I'll save. I will always save when I can at least once. Make sure my inventory is clean. Let's move this here down below. Yeah, uh, sometimes I lose track. What I was talking about earlier is uh, after I played and the footage was dark, I bought some new lights and things are looking a lot better now. But uh, yeah, when I lose a save in a game, I tend to be bummed out and not, not on this one as much. So I didn't, I don't mind. I had to wait a few days for the lights to arrive here. That's what I was trying to say. To, to play the game again and record it. And I avoided playing this game this time uh, before recording to get good on this shit because I, I don't like repetition. I don't like to just play a game and then play it again, again, immediately afterwards. I, I just can't do it. So interesting to play here, the, all the environments in this game. All the dilapidated houses. Tickle heat. And look at this. First time I came here, man. You know, I was like, what the fuck is going to come out of this damn closet? So I was, I was doing what I was doing now. Now, of course, I know. Let's watch. smoke got gum perfect the big cheese what of the first chapter. Awesome game. It's just, it's fun. Oh, this one coming up is always a thrill. <laughs> I got fucked there many times at once. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Oh, is this, uh, I'll be adjusting the camera here and there. Tickle he. Ah, that's too dark. Let's go back to 13. Yeah. Oh, let's save this. Let's see those again. Let me drink some Coke here. Now, I initially I was gonna drink uh, this year Peronia or Peronia. Crianza tem Tempranillo. Wine, it's wine, Spanish wine. Because you know, Spanish game, you know, set in Spain. Uh, and I really wanted to uh, drink something like I did last time, but uh, and I bought two bottles, you know. Uh, but with all the shenanigans happening, the eight hours, I, I drank, I drank everything's gone. I just, I just fuck, I didn't get drunk or anything, I'm a hard liquor kind of guy. Here and there, you know, I have high tolerance, but I don't abuse it, I don't, I can go months without it, and I often do. But it's a shame, I want to uh, drink some wine here, and it's just gone, and I could have ordered today on Amazon, but it takes about, you know, a day, I don't have Prime, I, mean, I don't want it. I don't want to pay, 
you know, I know every, I know I'm a minority. Everyone has Prime, but I, I I'm more of an eBay person. I buy more stuff on eBay. But it would it would have taken too long to get here, and I don't want to delay this playthrough any more than a half shoe. I don't want to be del I'm sick of the goddamn delays. I'm looking to simplify the channel a little bit more in the process of making videos, so I can make them more often and, and play more games. I want to reach the point that I can play the games that I want and do the video at the same time. Or if I stream in the future, do that. Basically, what Mike Matei does, the guys out there playing the games he wants and doing fine, you know, having fun, that's an important thing. Uh, yeah, sure, making money and all that, you can chase that dragon as much as you want, and some people are successful, but I think that the minute you're not having fun and you're miserable, you know, like uh, if you see that Wings of Redemption guy playing Call of Duty and he hates it, you know, he said it, he said so himself, and many other people play games just because, you know, it's what's getting the views, I don't want to be like that, I really don't. I get no views regardless. But let's say for an instance that I get, I play some game that will give me a lot of views, and then I go play. I've seen YouTubers doing that. Like they play, I don't know, play a game, and it's very popular. People love it. They get a lot of views, and then after a while they go try. I've seen it countless times. They go try to play some new game that they're excited about. And then uh, the views drop so dramatically that they don't have you know, the nerve to do another one. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, if you're very popular, I understand you're making money. You're making good money. So to throw that away, just to have fun. So it becomes a tricky situation, for sure. Uh, I don't give a fuck, honestly. I, I never want to be... If I was to, to make a lot of money somehow, which, again, I, I'm not big-headed. I know, I'm aware. It's never going to fucking happen. But let's say for the sake of the argument that I would, I would never be playing one fucking goddamn game that I hate in order to continue to make money and do shit, you know, like that. I don't know. It's It just sounds... It, I'm not saying I'm morally superior or none of that crap. I'm just saying that I would have a very hard time faking it, I'm, you know, that I, I'm having fun or continue to do it while it's, like, torture, pretty much. You know, not 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 throwing the high moral ground. Oh, the guys, they sold out. Derp, 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 I'm better than that. No, I'm not like that, man. That's uh, you know, proper. Prop. You know, I could I could get there. I would do if I could. Then I'm making money. You know, you have kids. You have all this. I'll uh, probably succumb. Uh, you know, submit and do the same thing. I mean, it's the same thing to do after all. It's a capitalist society. And, uh, and I love capitalism, by the way. I'm not criticizing them in a way, shape, or form. It has its problems, but I, God damn it, do I love it. Uh, I love buying stuff. I'm a consumer. I love, I love uh, materialistic. <laughs> I like my stuff. I like my chainsaw controller. I like my GameCube. I like my BVM. I like, I like stuff, man. Yeah. F fuck yeah, I do. Um, you know? But, uh, yeah. You know, uh, you reach the point that money's kind of important. I get it. You know, but I, I bet that a lot of the sellers, they look back and miss the good old days, you know, once you have that pile of money, but then you're not, you're miserable. And I don't subscribe to the idea that rich people are miserable, none of that shit. Plenty of rich people, successful, are happy and they don't want to be poor, trust me. It, 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 life ain't like that. It's just, that's something that poor people, and I'm poor, uh, that uh, talk to, you know, make themselves feel a little bit better. Every rich person is a miserable fuck. No, that's not true. You know, granted, a lot of them are unhappy. The reality is we need both. It's ideally you want to have your middle class, but you need poor people, you need rich people. I mean, rich people are the ones hiring. I, I get hired by a rich guy, uh, and I love it, you know. I don't care if he has more money than I do. And he needs a poor person too to do the job that I do here and to collect his trash and all that stuff, you know. Makes it a world I go around. It's just the way it is. Not getting political here, don't mix up with politics. Just uh, facts of life. And it's related to this because, yeah, you get you that crossroad where do I stream this fucking game for the rest of my useful career? Because at some point, you know, uh, subscribers start to fizzle out and evaporate. It happens. You don't even need to do something wrong, per se, you know? 
or do I have fun playing whatever games I want? I, f I feel like, and if you don't mind, I'm going to have a smoke while I'm talking here. If it gets too long, I'll just cut this fucking thing. Uh, I feel like you, you don't know, I don't know, just, uh, you got, some people, they're allowed to, they can play, they can play. I feel like some people are in for the content, they like the game in you, but not separately, you know? Let's say you got famous, I don't know, playing Super Mario Kart and Super Mario Kart Online. Every time you go play something else, the people, your viewers, your subscribers are not into it. So that means they like you, but they, they like you playing Super Mario Kart. That makes any sense. But some people, some big YouTubers that can move, you know, to and fro and do whatever they want, and the people will follow them. And that, to me, those are the, the people are there for them no matter what they are, not just, you know, not just the content that they're making, but everything that they're making in reality. True fans. And I think it's uh, pretty honorable, it's pretty cool that they reach that stage. You know, a lot of, you know, big name YouTubers used to do gaming only, and now they do commentary. Not for me, I'm not going to be doing any commentary in a time. Uh, that I'm pretty sure of. It'll be CRTs. If I can't do my CRTs here, then what's the fucking point? That was the whole point of the channel to share vintage hardware and the OG ways with some, you know, modern mod mods sprinkled throughout uh, to, to an audience. And if you're, if you're in for some, for some fucking reason, you're here for my personality and you don't care about CRTs and real hardware and original hardware and seeing the controller in my hand there with the gloves and all the sets and, and none of that shit. That's why I offer to capture, because some people, they do want to see. When I want to review my own gameplay, I tend to go to the uh, the capture, because I can see full screen, it's a bit easier. But the meat and potatoes of the channel is indeed the CRT that will be done. For, I want to do this forever, in fact, for, you know, for as long as I can. I'm not getting any younger here. Uh, drinking some... Lemonade. Very good. Lemonade Coke. Love it. I never knew that the song here doesn't loop perfectly. It has this awkward stop in between. This is a bit strange, isn't it? Now I hope that as you're watching this here, I'm gonna have a smoke here. Don't 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 fret about it. If you're in a hurry, like I said, you just hover, hover over. I used to have the goddamn channels here. YouTube just fucking threw them in the trash can like it was like they never fucking existed. They started disappearing from my videos, and then one day they were they, they was all gone. You know. So if you're in a hurry, just fast forward, my jibber jabber. I want to have a smoke. I want to relax. You know. As I was saying, I hope that I don't have uh, the few people that watch this video that there's not a huge amount of rabid fans like fanatics I've seen y'all OG RE4 fans and the RE4 remake fans going at it you know at each other's throats and uh, I don't know I get it but it's sad nevertheless you know sad is just a product and like I said, I like capitalism as much as the next guy, but not to the point of, you know, defending conglomerates and, and their products just because I bought them. I think, I think fanaticism of any kind, uh, you pushing your opinions of what you like and to someone else, it's pretty, it's pretty vile to me. I don't like it. You do you, you do what you want to do, you know, you, you meet people like that and I could say that and be guilty of the same thing, but I try not to. That's what I'm trying to say here. So I haven't played a remake, uh, and I will. And but I understand at the same time you got to understand people's frustration. Some people played the the original one, and they they don't like a lot of the mechanics of the new one. The problem is within the gameplay, and then the people on the remake side that don't like the original shit on it. Uh, which is fine too, by the way. You know, uh, they seem to, to you know, say this is outdated. They, they, they have some points. I think the wheel part uh, for the weapon, you don't have to go to the inventory, the attaché case all the time. But then I seen some people already saying that like the OG that that's a downgrade, not an upgrade. So, 
A lot of people say this game is perfect. You know, the OG Resident Evil 4. I don't know about that. I respect your opinion, but I think this game gets close to it, but I, I don't think any game is perfect. I don't think anything is perfect, really, you know, except for yours truly. No, I'm kidding. Can you imagine being that arrogant? No, nothing is perfect, by God. Just, you know, there's problems here. I can tell two things off the bat here with this game that I, I don't I love the game. Again, don't be thumb in the mouth, you know. I, I love the game. That's why, that's why I'm fucking playing it here, all right? So I'm, but I'm saying there's a couple of things as an outsider, as a person who have no nostalgia for this game, and, and liking this game, again, it's sad that every sentence you gotta kind of remind people of what it is to be human and have different opinions, right? I feel that's a word we'll leave in now. But I'm saying that I love the game, blah, 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 yada, yada, and it's a good game, and yada, yada, you know what I'm trying to say here. But I... I'm going to point the faults with it, and I'm not saying that if you like the game, it's nostalgia. I hate when people say that. I like a lot of games that I never played, uh, along with the PlayStation. The NES is my favorite console of all time, right after the PlayStation 1, but not by far. And I did not have an NES growing up. So, you know, suck on that with your fucking nostalgia bullshit. You know, I, I never had a GameCube back in the day, and here I am playing it and loving the game, the original playing for the second time, you know, and I love the game. Not everything is nostalgia. Some stuff is good then and is good now. But sometimes nostalgia can cloud your, your judgment. I do get that, uh, even myself and some of the games I play. You know, you have suspicion. It's normal. It's normal. Hey, you know, we're all human. You have a good experience with the game when you were a kid, and playing the game again brings back those experiences or it doesn't even have to be your childhood it could be a time in your life that was good you played a game at a special time maybe you had somebody special with you girlfriend a cousin a friend and you have good fond memories of the game and playing that game might take you back that's also nostalgia it doesn't have to be because you're a kid or new or necessarily a very old game but with some people, you can cloud their judgment um, here and there. It does happen, too, so both sides do have valid points. But as a complete outsider to the Resident Evil 4 saga, well, not complete outsider, give me a break here. I'm playing the game. I know a, a thing or two about the game. I watch a lot of playthroughs, but, uh, you know, an outsider is a person to, who hasn't beaten many times and all that, you know? Because I am. I'm clumsy here and all that, you know, and what the game is going. I'm not an expert. I'm at, sometimes I feel like I'm out of my depth here playing this game. It's true. You know, and what you do and I panic and all that. But I'll tell you that the game, it, to, to me personally, it's my opinion, it's not perfect. You know, uh, there's a few problems here and there. The quick time events is one. I, I don't like it. Uh, escort missions with, uh, with Ashley. Uh, Granted, is the best escort mission I ever seen in the game, but nevertheless, as a friend of mine said, it is a, an escort mission after all. And I'm not thrilled about those. And they did well here, they implemented it very well. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna, you know, uh, suck their balls on the issue and say that the escort mission is awesome. It's not the greatest part of the game, you know. It doesn't invalidate it, uh, but. Uh, you know, still a great game, regardless. Silent Hill 4 has a horrific, the opposite. Eileen is painful. She'll get damaged, she won't... I hate it, I hate it, but I love the game. You know, I love Resident, uh, sorry, uh, Silent Hill 4. I played that game and I thought it was fantastic. And I I get scared with that game. You know, and I'm, I'm an old pussy, trust me. I used to ride bulls for a living when I was young. I was an amateur bull rider. I'm not telling you because I'm a tough guy, but I've been through some tough patches in life, and I'm not, you know, uh, some sort of sissy here. It's, but for some reason, when I'm media, uh, movies are not as much, but with with games, I tend to get scared if they're scary. I found, uh, I played a little bit of Resident Evil 2 remake, and I found it very scary, the, the police station and everything. Uh, Silent Hill, I get scared. Uh, in Fatal Frame, I, I didn't even finish the fucking game. I found it so fucking scary. The scariest game I, I have ever seen. And with movies, The Grudge, just thinking about it, and including the, the, the what people say they're shitty-ass sequels, 
I, they scared the bejesus out of me. The one with the guy, uh, the thing breaks his neck, and at the end is him with his neck all fucked up and rotten. I'm getting the chills right the fuck now, I swear to God. That shit is horrific to me. Gore, not as much, you know. It's just something about spirits and, and things of that nature in Japan. They, uh, I don't know, they like the, the later from the ring, you know. But for me specifically, the grudge and the sound, oh my God. I, I have to stop talking about it because it freaks me out so much. Now, Resident Evil 4, I don't find it uh, very scary, but sometimes it is. I fi find the Regenerator scary. I found the other, what is the Verduro, very scary. Uh, so there's, there's scary moments here. All right, sorry I'm talking this much, but I'm not sorry. You know, like I said, those are your puzzle. Fast forward, do whatever you want to do. Do what you will, ninja. But, uh, yeah, the footage is rolling now. One hour and 30 minutes, yeah. I'll start up, you know, easy with a bit of the talk here and there. But as I, I won't do this every time I, I clear a level, okay? Really craving some nicotine right now. And I want to have a stop and have a, a smoke, vape, whatever you want to call it. And have a talk, you know. All right, let's go. That's good. That's enough bullshit here. Uh, no, definitely not exit. Uh, let's save. I don't think I saved it. Huh? There we go. Did I? I don't know. Go and see now here. Yep. Thank you. No, I hadn't. All right. Feeble humans, let us give you our power. Unable to resist this intoxicating power. <clears throat> hey, hey, wake up. to another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Demoy, I'm not done. Do something, cop! After you. Now! It's Leon. 
Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? <coughs> Fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No. But apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Oh, now I've done it here. Okay. Let's go ahead and not. Wow. Gotta be careful with the set here. You touch something, it's so fragile. There we go. That would that ought to do it. Ah. Not a pet peeve of mine with this game. It's more of a personal thing is I use the little cutscene. You put the controller down and have a vape. And, you know, just relax my hands a tiny bit from the awkwardness here, the position that I'm in. And, boom, I have to have to press buttons here because there's a cutscene. Uh, I hate it. I don't like it. Okay. Here it comes. Is it? I thought it was a merchant. Is it? It is. Over here. <laughs> now, I love the merchant, best character ever. Uh, he's Aussie, so he's automatically cool. And uh, just looking at him, his voice, his overall demeanor, I, I just love the guy. Uh, he's super cool. And I feel safe every time I see him. Like is a bit of sanity in this crazy old Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4 world here. Now this part, I've been fucked here before. Um, you know, with weaponry. I... Hmm. Uh, here's the, the... The proverbial cross crossroads here for me. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things <clears throat> on sale, stranger. And see here. Don't know if you know this, stranger, and I'm definitely not going to attempt to do any Australian uh, action. But did you see the blue medallions hanging around the village? Come back after you've shot more than ten of them. I've got a specialized gun I want you to try out. So that's pretty cool. What are you selling? Well, I reckon we can sell him uh, the jewels and treasures that we picked up. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> and I, I'm curious about. I'm already doing better by the high price. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Excellent. Yeah, so. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. I thought I would have more more herbs here. Uh, I want to I want to check my I don't even like to be you know pointing at him so I don't want to shoot him accidentally. Um, hmm, a lot of green herbs here. Uh, desperately need some yellow herbs to uh, to increase my overall. So here is a crossroads the uh, the fork on the on the road right is. What is this? Rifle? <clears throat> is getting a larger attaché case or or the rifle? I get the attaché case. I know uh, the attaché case. Is that how I pronounce it? You know, that's another word that never came up, you know, in conversation of me in real life ever. You know, I believe where I'm from, if you say you got an attaché case, they probably beat you to death. Uh, I never, never use that word, but I like saying it, attaché, you know. Um, anyways, sounds sophisticated. I will get the medium attaché case because I, the rifle, what am I supposed to do? Get rid of the shotgun? That's what I'm talking about, my experience with, my unexperienced, inexperience with the game. Welcome. So I will opt to get the, uh, the attaché 
what are case. You buying? Which, you know, because they have the rifle. I can't get Is both. That old stranger? Darn it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And I have 14. So how much is the scope? But then see, let me let me take a look Come at. Back anytime. Thank you, my friend. Look up. Yeah. So it gives him more room here, but I don't think there's enough room for the rifle, is it? And then even if I get the rifle, what do I do with it later? Sell it? Do I lose a lot of money with it? I'm not sure. So I tried to do the spark here. What I did it before is without the rifle. And later I'll get maybe the semi-automatic one. And, you know, if you roll in your eyes and I'm doing the wrong thing, I'm sorry. But, uh, out of curiosity, though, how... What are you buying? The rifle is 12 and the scope is 7, so that's beyond the scope of my pocket here, pretty much. I'm gonna go with this, and I'm gonna save to make sure there's no going back, to be honest. It just, it is what it is. This place is also very cool. And I'm just making sure that I got everything here. Yeah. Is that it? No, there's two things, I think. Is that here behind the merchant? Is it? Two barrels? Yeah, there you go. I remember this. <clears throat> no. Redder, bro. That's good. That's good news. Now, I hope I do well here. Um, I really, really do hope I do well. I don't want to cut anything. So if I die a lot, I die a lot. It's just the way it is. All right, let's go. Now, something I learned on a video recently is this. Where? Come on. Fuck. There we go. You can knock him. Oh, shit. Don't panic, motherfucker. There's the dynamite, guys. Ah, you fuck. Load this shit. And yeah. Take all heat. Oh shit, I should have let him shot. Oh! <laughs> okay, that. Motherfucker, I hate those guys. Take all heat. Get out, get out, because they throw, they throw that amount around here. It's fucked, so I'm gonna be in this in this position here for a while. That's what I usually do. And I know you you can shoot them to their deaths right there on that bridge, that thin bridge. Oh god, my nose is okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> oh he died, okay. Yeah, I, I wanna... The loot hasn't been good, though, to be honest. I'm looking for ammo and things. Is there more of those fellers? Oh, the fucker. God, I, I have a hatred for those assholes. No. This is how I get fucked. They tend to grab me. So I'm gonna swap to the shotgun right now. I'm not fucking around. I don't wanna get fucked here. So shotgun it is. You fucks! Right? Step this asshole here right now. Go ahead, it's only what it will do. Alright, back to the gun because it's just him. Oh, shit. Good, so far so good. I will stay here for now. I don't think they're unlimited. I think there's a, a you know a limited supply of ganados, I think. I mean, if it doesn't end, I'll get out of here. <laughs> Where did he go? What the fuck? Did he get... Did he fall? Take a heat! What 
the fuck happened? I will kill you. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, No, no, no! Oh my god, what? I pressed the wrong button. And just... I pressed the wrong fucking button, don't you know? What the fuck did I do? I pressed a button. I wanted to shoot him and I reloaded. Is that it? My patience has ran out with you fucking assholes. Okay, I'm gonna have to use an herb here. No, 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 no. Okay, I, I'm not... I'm not clowning around here, you bastards. I'm trying not to use the... I'm trying not to use the green herbs for no reason, you know? See? Come here then. Come. Take all heat. Right. Yeah, get down there. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to use a, a nerve here. There's no fucking way I'm gonna survive the onslaught up there. Right, let's do it again. Man, I re oh, I have an egg. Hmm. I'll use the egg. Oh, there you go. That, that ought to do it. It. Okay. Guys that shoot shit, they also tend to fuck me up. Okay, damn it. I must have. Where is the guy? That bastard. God, do I hate him. That fucking dynamite got me. What a fucking idiotic move of mine. The fuck was I thinking? Okay. I know that up there there's a lot of fellers. And I think there's a guy here shooting, uh, throwing dynamites. Sorry, not dynamite. It is dynamite. Yeah, dynamite. Not grenades. Mmm. Alright, so what you do? Oh. My bud. Things all right. Got the emblem right half. Okay, let me see if I can kill some of those fuckers right here. Deco heat. Oh, gotcha. Smile, you son of a bitch. How about that guy? Can I knock him off the platform? Yeah, having the, uh, the raffle here is definitely, obviously, no shit, you know, way better to aim and do things. What the fuck? Oh, that's just a flag. Help me, merchant. You're in deep trouble, mister. Okay, that guy throws a bunch of shit here, so that's good. Uh, we've got, oh, there we go. I can't believe I pressed the wrong button. I don't know what the fuck was I thinking when that the guy threw that dynamite at me. I could have died there for Pete's sake. 
minute. All right, I'm gonna, oh. No, no, fucking hell, okay. Part is over, boys. Part is fucking over. What the fuck? All right. You wanna play rough? We'll play rough. Fuck you, you fucks. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, I gotta. Gotcha, gotcha you fuck. Oh, I just have one bullet. Stab him, stab him. Oh, no, get out, get out, get out, get out. Reload. Kind of panic in here. Alright, let's go, let's go this way. And you, motherfucker. I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking face, how about it? Yeah, cover that fucking bitch ass face. Blow that fucking hat of yours, you fuck. There are more fellers in here. Yeah, that's right, I think they spawn. I usually go the other way. I don't know why I'm coming here this way, to be honest. I know there's a feller up there. Climb up here. Oh. Oh, oh man. Okay. What the fuck man? Get. You fuck. Come on. How am I doing on shotgun rounds here? Ah. Okay. in in there. Oh wait, there we go. Better, better. Nothing here. Oh yeah, there we go. Nah, it doesn't beset us. Oh, they're good, I guess. Nice stuff. Yeah! Finally. Uh, let me reload this. Another thing, I... I don't know what I'm doing wrong if you could reload on the inventory on the attache screen. I'm kind of perplexed that you can't, from what I tried at least. Okay, so makes this for a super drug. There we go. Okay. Yeah, usually I go the I go that way up there, and then there's more fellers up here, right? More ganados. I think a bunch of them are going to come up, right? Is that correct? Or did they spawn already? They had their field earlier. Let me see. I think because they came, they came up on the other side. There's this jerk off here. What is this place? Okay, I'm gonna harass you here. Pomp and circumstance, my friend. Pomp and circumstance. Come on, pop that hat. There we go. There's the money shot. 
And that was the last feller, because the music stopped, so that ought to be it. That was not your bed, but the dynamite mistake was fucking embarrassing. Yeah, I want to climb up there. There's stuff up there now. Yeah, that one was fucked. I fucked up big time. And I've been here right there, just making sure. Yes, sir, you have. Good fiddle. Get up here. Shotgun shells, oh, I'm always down for that. Awesome. And have I been here inside this shack? Yeah, oh, that's a place I just checked. And I think, I think that's it, right? Yeah. All right, let's get going then. And this is the place I can't climb down from. Look at this place. The wind and everything is so atmospheric. Yeah, you don't want to, don't want to bother all this shit. Very cool, this game, man. Look at the woods, the little details. That's so cool. All right, let's go. Let's just take a look at all the little hidden corners here, just making sure. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. I'm being paranoid now. Come on, open. It looks like something fits inside the hexagonal indentation. Well, I have just a thing for you, so we got to combine the old-fashioned way and just use it. Use the hexagonal imp. Open. Good stuff. What is this area for got by now? Is there more boulders here? That looks like more boulder. Quick time bullshit. I bet there will be. I'm always nervous with those. Oh, I gotta make sure I keep an eye on them uh, nests as well. Such a lonely place. It reminds me of when I lived in northern Nevada in the desert. That's the sound every day in there. Not in a town, in the, de in the desert, the actual desert in a trailer. That was awesome. One of the best times of my life. If you're from Nevada, cherish your state. It's an awesome place. Home means Nevada. My friend out there, you should say. And this area reminds me of it. Oh, there we go, some stuff. Yeah. I think it's a uh, high time for me to check that uh, attache case and make sure that everything is nice and organized before I lose control with it. Oh, this is the part a little claustrophobic with a lot of fellers throwing a dynamites and shit. I think that's what that is. All right, let me just take a look at my attache case here and make sure that I keep it nice and tidy. There we go, and move the herbs down here. Yeah, for this. Yep, there's the herbs. Yeah, it's so great. A lot more space, you know. It's awesome. Yeah. Not sure what you do to rifle, because I do want to get a rifle later, so I'll try my best to keep the ammo. Uh, although, to be honest, on the other one, the eight-hour playthrough, I never got close to having the, uh, sorry, the uh, semi-automatic rifle. Now, move this here like this, man. There we go. Wait. I don't like this. Oh, come on. Yeah. And just keep the raw herbs down there. That's it. I love it. Looking good. Okay, and check the map. Make sure I'm not missing the save here. Uh, so, oh, oh, there won't be a save for a while, huh? I have died here before. I hope there's at least a checkpoint or something. Yeah, this is the, the crazy place where anything can happen. I've died here before, right at the beginning. 
I gotta be careful. I just have to be more careful. <laughs> no, is itchy. Stop hitting the GameCube, goddamn you. Okay, right here. There's a bunch of guys already. So... And you sure there's nothing else in here, huh? No. Alright, let's go. Let's go for it. That went better than before. I mean, it wasn't stellar or anything. I'm not bragging about it, but uh, certainly better than I, some of my other attempts. I uh, went as far as dying here one time. Oh yeah, this part. There's all the dynamite fellers. This game is just so much fun because of all the action. And you think? I hesitated. No, because I remember that. I didn't like the answer. Survivor horror. It's not, it's not survivor horror. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look what I would have missed out on, huh? Where are they? No, no, no! Fucking hell! Let me pause. Oh my god. Let me tell you what the problem is with this controller. Let me tell you right the fuck now. You fucking bastards. I'll tell you after this. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, let's go, let's go, bitch. Let's go. Uh, it's a mess. It's a fucking mess. Look at this. I'm kind of locked in here. I'm stun locked. Damn it. Fucking finally. God damn it. Is this still there? Okay, there'll be one asshole here somewhere. Look at I'm on the verge of fucking death here. Okay, why am I pretending that I don't need a, a, a nerve? It's over. <sighs> Tell me what the problem is with this fucking controller here. This uh, chainsaw controller that, that makes me fuck up, and I know what happened. So when you play with the GameCube controller, it's, it's the way the B button is here. I mean, can't you tell? I mean, it, it, look at this. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Just, just fucking pause. Okay, see here. The, uh, damn lazy. Yeah, it's awkward because, yeah, if you're holding like this, I think that's what they're going for, but it's still awkward. It's still at an angle. I, if I was making this, just how I'm holding the controller here, yeah? So I would have the B here, but normal, fucking normal GameCube, the, the B here, the Y here, and the X here, I don't know why they made it this way, it's fucking horrible, it's horrible, because the B is under here, and I, I don't know, I want to play the GameCube, I want this arrangement here, look, like, this is the position I'm used to, you know, and I don't, I don't like what they did with the buttons, that's uh, the, the one that burns me the most, and obviously the, the shoulder buttons are horrific. Uh, listen, you can get used to it, 
people sometimes, you know, they, they lose limbs and play an instrument with their stump. So, you know, I'm aware you can adapt to everything you know, instead of just whining all the time. Uh, but I'm just saying, you know, it's a valid complaint. Let, let's keep going here. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah, I need the herb. That's It's over. At least I can take solace in the fact that it has the yellow. So it does increase my overall health a bit. That's, I'm concerned about fucking this up, you know? So I'm going to try to hold this differently so I can still kind of do it this way because I'm getting very confused here. What? what whoa. Yeah, what, what's happening? Let, let me go over here. Just, no fucking way! Oh, and he's throwing stuff. I'm gonna blast your fucking head right open, you fucking piece of shit. Come here. Blast the fucking head of yours. Right the fucking... Shut up. Motherfucking traps! I, I just wanted to get the loot here and then I accomplished nothing because the loot disappeared. Bravo, sir. Bravo. Fucking bravo. You see, what I was trying to accomplish here, like a doofus is, I wanted to get the loot. I need I need stuff, you know? I, I can't afford to be losing things. So basically, there was things like this shining in there, and I went to get it, but I didn't know that... Fucking hell. That there would be fucking traps on the, on the other side as well. I we figured, I guess, the placement is, is perfect to me, you know? I mean, the, the henchmen here, they did a good job. But goddamn, it still pisses me off. That's why I like to disarm all the fucking traps, no matter what. I hate them. I hate them. I, I should have done that first. I shouldn't have panicked with the fucking... Some loot that disappeared anyways. I got nothing. You know? Yeah, I don't care if I'm coming here or not. I'm disarming the shit. I hate to leave them all armed. I hate those fucking traps. And I won't do all that. You know, and who knows, I could catch a dog later or something. Okay, so... I gotta make... Oh, yeah. I usually freak out about that elegant mask. Because I'm thinking... Oh, you can't break that, man. Okay. Because I think it's going to be so such a complex puzzle, you know, to find it. And then it, it really isn't. It's quite obvious, actually. And about it here. Any ganado here? No? All right, there we go. And that's it. We got the elegant mask here. And another thing I'll be quite lost in this game here is about the damn jewels. You know, what goes where and what not. So I'll probably be fucking up. Well, you know, if I even find the ones that uh, that go go inside the uh, those, you know, elegant mass of Beerstein, uh, Beerstein, uh, and all that stuff. I need I need yellow herbs to you know expand my capability here. And I think is there one guy left, and that's it. I think so. I hope I got everything there. Okay, he's, gonna, he's liable to be here right around the corner, isn't he? Oh no, he's right by the ladder of the action. Uh, there's nobody else here, Chief. It's just you and my knife across your fucking neck. Look at this asshole just die already. And that's it. Now, down there, there's a lot of fish. So, it would have been awesome if I had kept my goddamn herb, the super special herb, for later when I'm going to need it with bosses or something. I feel like I'm sabotaging myself here a tiny bit. You know, every little so much more that I play. Okay, now the fish are down there. And how is the space? It's alright. 
I don't know if they, you can't come back here in a time, get more fish, but I'm going to try to make as much as I can out of it right now. Some handgun ammo. And there we go. I'll be careful. Oh shit, okay. This is when the, the space started to get tight, but it's not the end of the world right now. Let's go ahead and move um, all the ammo. Fucking button arrangement so weird. Move it down here, and we'll move the green herb down here. And uh, let me think. Uh, try to, for now, just kind of combine this here. I know it looks a bit messy, but just for now. And how. Okay, and let's try to be more economical with the space here somehow. Okay, some fish there, and let's try to get more fish, but... Ooh, what's this? Oh, flash grenade. Ooh, some good stuff here. All right, and I'll make sure to minimize wasting bullets. And that didn't do a good job there on that regard. Come on, little bit. Come on, that was a shot. There we go. Ugh. Always on the crucial shot. What are you doing? You're dead. Come off it, dude. That was a fucking hit. Well, now this is not... Is he, what the fuck is this, dude? The fucking thing is invincible! Had to stab it to death. <sighs> fucking hell. Give me that. I, I think, I think we're through here, right? There's... Is there one more? Oh, you fuck. Okay. That was pathetic, a pathetic. Gotcha! Yeah! That's how we do it, bitch. Uh, can I use things now? I can. Good. And then... No. Come on. This thing. Alright. Yeah, but space is fucking tight now because of the, the, the fish. But hey... Being a hoarder here a little bit, I know. Because, see, the idea there was press A, and I'm always confused with A and B on the chain assault controller. I don't have that problem with a regular GameCube controller. Are there more crows here? I could swear I heard another one. Ammo, that's good. But, you know, I'm gonna run out of space here. Let me... Ah, there he was. I couldn't see him. I wonder if there's gonna be a... Uh... You see, the Ganados, they're not affected by this shit, so there's zero fucking reason to leave those things armed. But I don't know about them, uh... You know, the dynamite wire here. The trip wire. I think I'll just let that be. For now. Uh... Nothing. 
Yeah, another thing is hard to get used to if you come from the original uh, Resident Evil. There's no concept of safe, and you know you just is you're at the shit case and you have to. Should be, uh, you know, sort of economical here. Mm, I I really don't want to combine green herbs. It's terrible. It's a terrible thing to do. From from what I understand. You know, I thought it'd be Ganados here. Did I? Oh. Let me just check the uh, map here. Okay, so I think that's the part to go in and meet uh, Bertoli or whatever his name might be. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, huh, I could swear there's something out here, no? Hmm, guess not. Okay, some sort of puzzle. What if I go up with it? I'm afraid of opening things here, and I love that sound. It's just such a cool sound. Uh, there's Lord said, "Oh, it's a nice picture of him." I don't know if it comes across on this, yeah, on the footage here, but it's very colorful uh, here. I, I'm afraid of picking up items because of, I'm, I got shit for space here, man. Chief's note. As, instru as instructed by Lord Settler, I have the agent in confinement, alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think that you keep him separate, not confine them together as has been ordered. I don't expect Luis, expect Luis to trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'll let a chance like that slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that a th this third party will surface, even if they exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already among us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk, and if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, is the Lord's call. We'll trust him, his judgment, as always. Cultists. That's that's what's wrong with this picture here. I don't think I, ha I can afford to even look at things here. Let me see. I don't have space, man. Well, this is Pesetas. I, 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 I would like to know for sure. If I open something, that's my fear. Oh, there's a drawer here. Like this. Okay, so if I take the ammo and there's no space... Do I have to discard it? They're all textbooks written in English, but I don't have time to read them. Well, I don't know about you, Leon. You complain that the books are not in English now. Complain they don't have time to read them. So where's the save here? It, what? Claim should be right behind me? Where? I don't see anything. Let's just get going here. us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? 
Same blood. This fucking branch here. God damn it. Fuck off. Sorry, I had a block here to screen a bit. Uh, what is this? One, two, save. Uh, hell yeah. And take a break. Dropping some of those damn leaves here. Alright. Where were we? Hmm. That's right, the big cheese. Okay. No, no, no. Freaking doing this every time, god damn it. So let's go, it's the big cheese time. Make sure I stop touching all the branches here, fucking things up. Just uh, leaves here and let's go. <laughs> and then for each four hour session, I'll start a new uh, save just in case things get fucked up. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're <coughs> called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. I've always found funny the Big Cheese expression. I don't think I ever used it in real life. Ooh. Oh, God damn it. It would have been better if it was a red herb. I think I got a face of music here. I'm going to have to combine green herbs, which I really, really hate doing. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think. Okay, let's. let's go. I think if you open here, there's a scene, right? I don't know if you're showing the footage here. I, I, I love that cutscene, by the way. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I know there's an egg in the oven here. And Anyways, uh, if you see me shaking here, it's, it's a bit cold. I feel cold. It's cold out here. <clears throat> Alright, so I came from there originally. And I came back through here. Is that it? That's right. That's right. <clears throat> And now I think, yeah, there's a few goodies in here. But, uh, alright, let's strike on the space. So, I, when I watched just start, just start his video, that, oh, there's a, there's a guy here. And he always has hit me. It's, you know what? Hell with you, son of a bitch. Got me here more than once. He always, I find it fucking amazing. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I know I panic a bit and I shouldn't have used shoe shells on this bastard, but... And I still didn't avoid getting fucked. Looks like they use toilets. Guess they're at least somewhat civilized. Well, yeah. But where's the, the crapper? There's not even that uh, hole in the ground kind of deal we have in some countries. I guess they just urinate. <clears throat> Who knows? I mean, come to think, the famous, uh... Looks like the people in this house eat like normal humans. Maybe. Maybe they're serving eyeballs or something. 
It's a painting of a lake. Maybe it's around here somewhere. To look a lake. Yeah, they have painters and everything, guys. It looks like the people here carry out their lives like ordinary people. They even read books. Okay, now the bullshit is going to start here. I won the grenade, that's for sure. And I think I'm already out of space and there's no... There's no way of organizing anything. I'm just playing out of space here. So I'm going to combine. Uh, and there's going to be the egg as well. Which I'm not even sure what the fuck am I gonna I'm gonna do here. Okay, let's combine two green herbs. Unfortunately, I don't know what's the ramification of that. Oh, I don't need to break the thing. Oh, okay. And I know there's a <clears throat> there's an egg in here. I'm not sure. What am I gonna do? Do I have to combine green herbs again? Yeah, it's completely out of space. I have to. It's okay. I have to combine more green herbs. This is fucking absurd. And I'm fucking myself over here, dude. No! Oh my god, I thought. Sorry. <laughs> I thought that I lost the egg forever. Uh, because the position's here. Uh, man, I, I think I'm really getting fucked here doing this. I, it feels very wrong. Even, you know, I'm not an expert on this game. <clears throat> but mixing green herbs together, it just feels like I'm really fucking up here. Um, let's arm this. Don't need a shotgun. I shouldn't have shot that Ganado also twice there with the shotgun. That was stupid. That was dumb. Okay. And I think, I reckon I'd come back the same way I came. Is that it? Yeah, and let's do a save. Do, do we do a save? I just saved it, but whatever. Fuck it. <clears throat> Stop hitting the damn GameCube. Alright, and I think I just leave, yeah? That it? Yeah, and there's some Ganados in there. Oh my goodness, is the guy. Okay. The. Hmm. Okay, let me see here. Send your grenade. Maybe I use a grenade on him. What the fuck are you doing? What's that about? He has an El Salvador in there. Wait until they gather up together. Let's see. Let's first assess the situation. But I see him there. Look at him. I hope you can see on the on the CRT footage if you're watching that. But that's Doctor Salvador. Yeah. Damn it! You fuck! God of him. Okay. And throw the fucking grenade and burn those bastards. God damn it, I hate getting hit. And he is a fish. You're right, of fucked here. No, 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 no. What are you doing? I'm not throwing more shit here. Fucking get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, you fucker. Damn it. Where is he? Fuck you with your throwing bullshit. Oh my god, no. <laughs> it reminds me of Ladderface. Get away, get away from me, you freak. Come on. Oh my god, 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 this is fucked. Alright. The hell is that? Skills that kills? <laughs> Can I stab him? Is that advisable? Get away, get away, get away. Oh. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Alright, you got the ruby. Look at him. 
stealing my controllers. I wonder if that's based on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is a, a use of Poulan 245A. I had a chance about the chainsaw one time. I have a Poulan here. Uh, you know, they're good quality Louisiana chainsaws. They're awesome. Old fashioned. Uh, yeah, I have one of the smaller, smaller ones. I forgot the number, the model I have about a long time. Let's see. Come on, man, this is awkward. Come on, bitch. I She's done. Finally. Holy shit. Okay. Let's mix that up. Turn it. I, I know, it's a mess here. Ah! And the fucking buttons. I never get used to this damn controller. It's awkward to reach uh, X, to be honest, the way you're holding it here. Because you're holding, you got to hold it here, and you can't, you can't quite reach without pressing A. Okay, there's a little bit of space here now. I feel a little bit better. God, it's cold in here, man. <clears throat> Fucking freezing. Then a hidden things here that I missed every time that Dr. Salvador comes up. I kind of sort of panic. Uh, and an ass in here. No, that's it. So, all right, let's keep, keep on going down the road. Oh, there's an ass. I saw it. So, what is it, an egg or just pesetas or what? Is it a jewel? Spinel? <clears throat> Damn it. I need to sort the heat in the shed here. It's been a hot day, so I wouldn't expect it to get cold here at night time, but it does. What the hell? Oh shit. Can't, not, not now, dude. Oh fuck this shit, come on. Shotgun, shotgun all the way here. And this asshole throwing stuff at him. Fuck you, you fuck. Busting. Got him. Okay. Running behind me, ain't you? Okay, give me the old handgun. Gotcha, you fuck. fiddle. <clears throat> now, according to the advice uh, on the internet concerning the weapons, the TMP is a waste of time. I'll take it to to maybe sell it later on. And But if I can't, if I can't make it, then I, I, I reckon I'll just discard it then. Because from what I read online, it was nearly universal that the TMP is not good. So, I'm going to go with that. <clears throat> oh, man. And another thing I'm confused a bit on this game is, on, you know, on the old Resident Evils, suck big time now. You're gonna suck this fucking buckshot's big fucking time. 
Oh, somebody behind me. I knew it, you fucking cunts. Okay. God, I need a grenade. Yeah, throw it. Fuck it. Let's go. The fuck is that? What are you doing? Why you do shit like this? Okay. Weapons. Can you... I need this... This here. And I need to make space in a way so far. Holy shit. That was a massacre. Okay, awesome. What the f... Kayate. Somebody's throwing... Somebody's throwing stuff here. The, the people that throw... Ah, there he is, you fucking bastard. Come here. Fuck you up now. So there's more of them. So we got some loot here. Come on, I clicked the button. So somebody... So yeah, I, I get a bit confused here if I should kill everyone. That's the impression that I, I get, like, on the o Oh, there's a... Is that an egg? What the hell? Yeah, it is. Yes, I sure will. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there he is. You little fucking prick, you. Oh, you're done. That was it. Yeah, when I started to play this game, and up until now, I guess, I guess because the music stops, you have to kill them all. Yeah, because in the old games, you want to what the map says here. In the old games, you don't want to be killing everyone, obviously. So I go here, right? Is that it? Yeah, I think so. And would there be any new loot, or is that pretty much uh, the same as before? Yeah, it's the same. There's nothing new under the sun here, I suppose. What the hell is that in there? Well, I thought it was a Ganado inside that house. Okay, so now do I go to the church? Is that it? I can open the church and... Yeah, that's where I need to go. But then this other part here is green, but that don't matter. Yeah, I need to go this way, okay. <clears throat> um, take a look at my inventory here. I don't think I can do much in the way of uh, on the way of organizing things, but I'll try my best to make it a little bit more cohesive here. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'll move this fish this way. And that uh, this can go here. This can go here. And this like so and this like so. Okay, so I got space for a couple of things and an egg, probably. <clears throat> Alright. And gotta be careful this uh, chainsaw here and the reflection on on the TV, CRT, whatever. Okay, all right, let's go to church. Obviously, use the key.
where some of this. Ah, I love the music. I've saved rooms in Resident Evil. Just such a such beautiful, beautiful melodies. The environment is so great. It's so realistic to me still. Geniuses that make those things. Oh, I thought I could open this now. Look at that firewood. Yeah. <clears throat> I love the lighting. It's better in person here seeing it than because uh, I, I have a monitor next to me and I can see what's going on, you know. <clears throat> Sorry. Quick, quick, quick smoke here. Yeah, I have a monitor to see what it looks like, my recordings. Okay, about an hour left here. I, uh, yeah, I didn't make a lot of progress now. So one, three. Oh yeah, those, those things, they hold treasure, right? Las Caviernas. Because they're ca uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's coming up. He's coming up, and I can sell this stuff. The merchant. <clears throat> Let's go down to the caves. Yeah, yeah man, this uh, chainsaw controller is really reflecting on CRT. I need to get away from it a tiny bit here somehow. Let me see. There we go. Like so. There you go. Does the caves will be dark in here. See if I can turn up the brightness for the CRT folk. It looks like shit to me in person, but it, it, it brightens up a bit for, for the footage. And once I go outside, I can you know, turn it down again. I always like to look at the candles. I, I like the lightning and those other games. It's just a masterpiece. I know it's simple things. Uh, there's another one here. But I love I love the detail. <clears throat> and yeah, I, I'm aware of the HD project and I think it's the greatest thing ever that defends. I really admire them. They went all the way to Spain in real locations in the real world to take pictures and the amount of dedication is absurd. It's ludicrous that they were able to, to have that commitment and many people helping them out as well along the way. Well done, guys. Well done. Much respect. And, and well done for Capcom not interrupting it or, or sending them a season disease and all that stuff like Nintendo does at times. At times, as in all the time. Sometimes you have the right to do something. You know, being your IP and everything, but there's the right and there's the moral. You know, somebody make a harmless uh, fan project, just, you know, let them be. Got something that might interest you. Some rare things on sale, stranger. So, stranger, any luck with the blue medallions? Remember, shoot more than ten to get your specialized gun. Cool. What are you All right, selling? Let's selling some of this junk here, my friend. I sell this TMP ammo. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. And let's get rid of. I wonder if the fish ever goes bad. Does it? Is that all strength? <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. What are you buying? A map that shows the 
locations of valuable treasures in the village area. I remember G Star, I think you mentioned that it's worth it, but I, I don't know, man. I, I'll just look around, I, I reckon. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but that's what I want to do. <clears throat> and now there's another thing to the rocket launcher. Uh, I used a rocket launcher when I thought I, I was afraid at first if I was going to know when at which point to get the uh, rocket launcher in or order to fly the El Gigante. And I managed to do it in the playthrough that was lost, you know. I managed to do it just fine. I want to talk a bit about this because <coughs> it's going to come up in a gameplay here in this playthrough. So I managed to find it, find the right, sorry, managed to. to remember it's sort of like the right spot to buy it just before the fight and I used it but I, it didn't feel right I you know I shot the El Gigante one shot El Gigante dead good but I wanted to see the dog coming back the dog that you save it right at the beginning of the game I wanted to I wanted to have some action so I'm tempted this time to not buy the rocket launcher when it's time which is not now I don't think so to, and fight him legit if I can, but I'm afraid that it will deplete all my my ammo as well. So I'm a bit hesitant there because this game you can't buy ammo, right? So you can you can find ammo, you can buy guns, but you can't. You know, I know there's some little cheeses here and there, but uh, I'm not aware of them. So I think I'm gonna. You know what? I'll try it, and if it, if if it ends up really stinking, and I would just I reckon I just. I don't know. Have a save beforehand if it's very bad. I'm not sure. I'm tempted. I, when I play on the Wii the first time, I, I didn't have the notion of when to buy the rocket launcher. I hadn't watched a playthrough to explain things, and let alone if I had, if I would have been able to absorb it, you know, and remember everything. We talked we talking like many, many hours of footage that you're watching. Somebody else playing like a walkthrough, you know. Hmm. And I thought him. And I can't remember if I died a few times, probably. But I remember being a lot of fun. And when I used the rocket launcher, it was awesome that it killed him right away, but there was no fun to be had. So I'm wondering about that little detail there. Uh, is that it? I don't need to buy nothing? Let me take a look at my inventory here. <clears throat> yeah, I reckon that's fine. Uh, let me go ahead and I, I like those things. I really wish and I really hope I'm not fucking this up uh, But on, on reloading here because you know in the old games you can just go ahead and reload here so Thank you merchant. You're awesome Limping a tiny bit here So what is this the gondola thing? Is that it? Damn it, that reflection. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, not yet, huh? Keep an eye for Ness here. I just can't seem to get away from the fucking reflection here. And is there a quick time event with a... Look at this. It's a walk on a heavily wooded area. You know? Oh, there it is. Speak of the devil. And what do I get for that? Some ammo? Damn it. I hope the ammo doesn't disappear. No, it doesn't. Tell another thing that terrifies me in this game and in the games is fucking dogs. You know, I'm a dog person. I'll... Where's the other fella? Where's your friend? Just you? Ah, oh, shit. That was a catalyst, wasn't it? Some facetas here. It the deep. No! It does it here. Yeah, I didn't react fast enough. Uh, I don't think you can combine yellow herbs anymore with that. I oh, fucking use it. You're fucked up now. You made your bed now, you're lying it. All right, what? Why am I panicking here? Is it two, two, two fellas? 
Now you both get stabbed, you bastards. There you go. Take the double whammy. Take this kick to the face and more stab in the fucking face. That's it. The other guy's still alive, you kidding me? Where's the hurry, bitch? Motherfuckers. I can't believe I took damage on this. It's such an open air fight here. What the fuck was I thinking? These were a house here, right? A little cozy little place here. There's definitely gonna be a snake now. No? How about how about how about this one? Thank you, I love to get ammo. I love ammo. It's awesome. Alright, now the map here shows this is the area of the cemetery. So right behind me, immediately right here. There we go. And then we can go to the merchant to claim our reward, which is the, uh, what is it, a Punisher or something. And I've been, you know, instructed online by the information that was available to me that it is not better than... The consensus was that, oh, it was not better than the regular pistol here. Damn it, I can have a hit him up there. Pisses me off. If it was real life, I could, I, I swear. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm, I, I embarrassing myself here losing ammo it's a disaster <clears throat> okay that's 10 <coughs> now another thing I'm curious about if you've got 10 already is there a need to you know shoot the other ones I don't reckon I, I you know they're there I, I don't think I'll even bother showing them what's the point I think there's more ganados up here right yeah, because I got 10 already. There'll be five bullets wasted for nothing. Even though I know, coming from that guy that just shot a crow a thousand times and got nowhere. Yeah, when I come back... Okay. <gasps> shit, shit. Yeah, fuck. Did he kill the other fellers himself? I reckon he did. <coughs> Damn, man, this cold blooded murder. Shit. Yeah, I remember this place would come back here and it's full of those fucking horrific dogs. It's, it's fucking horrible. Okay. Crow's still flying around, huh? What? Who? Oh, is it is it down here? Where are you? Oh sh damn, 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 damn. Crazy ass bitch. God damn they're right. <laughs> Give me this shit. Awesome. Alright. Is this fucking shitty ass puzzle? You know, last time I came in here, I kind of pushed buttons and it just fucking, <laughs> fucking worked. Now, let's quit. I, I, well, let's do it properly. So you go to the graveyard. Yeah, first time somehow I, I just wasn't in the mood and I said fuck it and just start meshing combinations and somehow it didn't take long for it to... Uh, so there's one of those. Stop it. It's one of those right there, yeah. But again, I have 10. I don't know if that affects my ranking, but who, who gives a shit? Like, what ranking? You know? Like, 
that ship has fucking sailed a long time ago. Uh, oh yeah, so the uh, I'm not doing for ranking. I don't do. I do, I'm, I'm not into the ranking stuff anymore. I admire people who are. Not, not, nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's actually awesome. I like to watch, but uh, people doing it. But myself personally, I'm not into it. Achievements, trophies, none of that stuff. Uh, so you got to check the twin ones. So you got the V1. Maybe they're different for all the graves. Um, okay. So there's a, so there's a V, sort of a V there, come on man, sort of a V there, and then this one is an S, mm -hmm. and there ought to be a third one, so a V, an S, and this fella here, and an M, okay. I don't know if I have to actually physically check them, V, sort of a, like a, a v, uh, I'll call that an S. V, S, and M. So let's go. Try to solve that puzzle. At least that's how I think it is. <clears throat> There's a, I think I reckon another church. I don't think this ever opens, does it? Every Resident Evil, they have to have a room that's locked from the other side and it never opens. It always mystifies me. So, okay, so that was, uh, so three family insignias of that ringers. It looks like the dial on, on a turn clockwise in either three or four increments. Turn the dial, how many increments? So that'll be, uh, so that was a V, but there's also an M. One, two, three. One, two, three. So let's go one, two, three. Okay, and then one, two, three, four. But then I'm not gonna have one, two, three, right? Uh, if I go one, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, let's see. One, two, three, and I know that's the wrong one, but now we'll go four to activate. Uh, you dumb son of a bitch. You're supposed to be three. Now, now everything went to shit. I do four and start again. Christ. Okay. All right. Wait. So three. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three again. One, two, three. And then three. There we go. That's it. Good. Kind of fucked up there that one time. But we bounce back. We good. So what? Uh, what's happening? So now I'm going to what now? Is that the gondola? Oh, it's the bridge part. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> All right. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah. Sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? <laughs> At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her. Hurry! I know, that's what we're here for, but I just seen a nest. On the scenic route. That damn crow still flying around mocking me. There you go, I got some... Ooh, I love it. I love weapons. My, I got a hard on for just having ammo and grenades. I know the money is important, but I look at it as like I, when I get the, the actual ammo. Kayate. <laughs> yeah, but I. All right, you Shit, you. Take it. And you better give me some goddamn loot, you piece of shit. And straight off the fucking water. And I took a hit for nothing. Ah, oh, well. <clears throat> Listen to this. Now, I'm sorry about that line on the CRT. I don't know what to do with that shit. But I love the atmosphere here and the solitude, the uh, sound of the wind. 
So anyways, there's another one there and one here. It's all on the map. I mean, what am I even doing here telling you this, this shit? Definitely gonna be a snake. That's gotta be a snake in there. Die! Give me that egg. I've been waiting on your ass, bitch. Now, if there's a snake on top, is it possible to react in time? Alright, some notes here. Let's take a look. Closure of the church. Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Luis is our top priority. The American agent a distant second. What Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world will become a very totally different place than what Lord Sadler has envisioned. <clears throat> At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we are not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent does not get to her, I have locked the church door where the girl is being held. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sadler. There's a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now, now that Del Lago, that the Del Lago has been awakened by our Lord. No one will ever get across the lake alive. Well, I know I did a few times. Plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It'll be just a matter of time before he join, joins us. Once she does, there will be nobody else left that will come looking for the girl except the whole fucking United States government. Can't imagine if it was like that. So President sent send an agent, special agent, for a covert, covert operation. You know, because I guess, I, I'm not sure if the government of Spain would have approved or approved here, if it's a, like a black op sort of thing. And he dies, so Leon dies and didn't get the job done. And the president and American general just go, oh, well, we tried. That's it. Callate, cabron. Pendejo de mierda. Te voy a matar. Oh, shit, I missed the step. Have a safe trip, buddy rolls. Yeah, I like this area, it's pretty cool. Every area in this game is just fantastic. Oh, is this the crow thing? I think so, yeah. Oh shit, hell, he got this in there. I know it's not the fight now, but shit. It's too scary nevertheless. Please don't press the wrong button. So this is awesome. Obviously, I learned this from videos, not myself, to be honest with you. But, Cabo. <laughs> and I know there's another spot too, but I think I'll probably miss it. It's a spot on the, uh... Yeah, this is so cool. Give me that loot. Sweet, sweet loot. Yeah, if you were to shoot him here, there's no fucking way you would have made it. And this is just pure fucking cold, hard cash, ain't it? It adds up? You sure it is. Oh, how, how am I doing for space here? Let's uh, keep things nice and neat. Uh, not a lot really, huh? Hmm. Oh, but that, uh, use this. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Yeah, so basically this area here, I remember you get to here, El, El Gigante. Yeah, I recall. He sounds very scary. He is a scary fella, I won't lie to you. I mean, don't get me scared like, a, you know, Fate or Frame and that kind of shit, but it's still pretty impressive, and I get panicky, you know. <clears throat> I think, yeah, I'm leaning towards fighting him legit. So where is it? Oh, he's been held here. There's something in there. It is kind of scary. It reminds me of uh, Silent Hill 3. You're at a subway station, and there's that horrific roar, like lion roar. It's horrible. That game is scary, too. Silent Hill games are scary to me. 
And as good as thank God I still have that child wonder of being scared about things. Since movies, Hollywood don't do it for me, that's for damn sure. Looks like the gate is securely shut. Wait, I can hear something growling on the other side. Yeah, that's a massive motherfucker. Sear him a little bit. I wonder what's on the other side. I wonder if banner break. They... Let's get the fuck out of here, guys. That sounds like a lion, don't it? We should say a lot because lions are fucking scary, too. So I think the merchant is down here, is that correct? Yeah, and a save point. And then... And then here's the, the lake. Okay. I'm right on kill then. I'm not... I thought I talked too much here and took too damn long. Uh, but I remember one of the footage that I, I, I made, one of the, you know, the fail ones I mentioned earlier. Uh, I got you the lake. It was about the same, innit? <clears throat> I think so. I think I'll be getting to the lake now. Am I? I can't remember. Maybe not. That's a beautiful music. I love it. So I can't remember now if it's the time. Yeah, like I said, it don't matter. I won't be. I won't be getting the. Uh, the rocket launcher, I don't think. I, I don't know if I'll really regret it. I want to fight the Ohigante like mano a mano. You know, legit. There's, there's enough weapons here to start a small war. That's the fucking merchant. is fucking awesome. I like him. I haven't played a remake, and I avoided watching uh, watching any spoilers. But uh, I'm I'm from what I've seen a tiny bit of it. I'm glad they kept the the essence of the merchant. Oh, and and you know, kudos to let me have a smoke here. Kudos to Capcom for including where has everyone everyone gone? Bingo, uh, the throne room, which is awesome. Which unfortunately, from what I understand, is not on the GameCube version. In uh, the suplex, which even Max did, I remember Maximilian did saying there's no way the suplex is gonna make into the the remake, and they did it. Capcom, thank you, awesome. I don't know why they have this thing with oh, getting rid of the corny, cheesy lines. Dude, that's what the people love, you know. People are buying the remake. A lot of people are new. I understand they're trying to bring in new players, but a, a lot of the players and the basis for a remake. It's people that play the uh, the damn original, you know. They want to they want to experience now again. I know I do, you know. After the OG, of course. All right, enough bullshit here. Um, yeah, I think I ought to save it. You know, save it before I make any mistakes. Uh, you know, buying. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, no, come on. Yeah, exit. I need to. Uh, Sell shit first. I don't want to do this again. That's something that goes wrong. I hate repetition. Rare things on sale, oh, he's gonna give me the. Oh, no, 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 no. Well done, stranger. I see, I see you shot more than 10 medallions. Like I promised, go claim your specialized gun in the buy screen. Don't, don't, don't worry about money. This one's on the house. But now, will I be able to sell it? Let, let me save this. I don't know how that's going to work. If I need to make space, like, I need to go through the inconvenience of putting the thing in, into my inventory, and then selling it. Let's, because I, I don't have a lot of space. Oh, man. Space is, is, is tied here, and it takes six. How the fuck am I going to make this? Wait. Rifle ammo. I think I'm gonna have to use one of those fish, and I. Okay, let, let's think hard here first. If I do this, and 
no, there's just no budging here with, with this big ass fish here. But goddamn, I don't want to fucking discard it. Okay, here and wait. Damn it, so close. Fucking hell. Okay, ah oh, man, I don't want to get rid of one of those bombs, should I? Gonna have to. I think so, yeah. I don't think I can sell the TMP. Or the, the, sorry, the Punisher, without putting my inventory first, is that correct? Ah, uh, yeah, I will. Rifle, no way. I'll sell one of the rifle ammo, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Then nothing is truly lost. I just sold what are you it. Buying? No, I'm not buying what anything, my friend. Okay. Uh, can you buy grenades here? What can you buy? What are you you can't buy that kind of stuff, right? I could... S okay, let me see. Buying? So the first aid spray... Maybe I'll sell the first aid spray. It's ten thousand. Ten grand. Selling? And if I sell is what? Half price. Come on, merchant. Fuck it. I'll I'll sell it. Is that old stranger? Yeah, I'll sell that. <laughs> Keep you. my weaponry and sell some, some of the healing because that you know, I lost five grand there, but I, at least I can what get the, <clears throat> the weapon out, let's see. And then just it's kind of dumb, and I hope I'm not being extra dumb by by doing this. Okay, so I'll move this here, and then just shoot the that, huh? Kind of stupid. And that goes here. <laughs> Thank you. And what then are you just selling? Sell yeah, that's it. Oh, how much is that? Ten thousand. That's it. Ah, I'll buy it at a high. Price. It's all in all, I made five fucking grand. That's it. <laughs> Thank because I, I I saw the uh, first aid spray at a loss. But at least I opened some space. I guess can be bitching too much. No, what no, no. are you selling? Mm, see if I have any uh, what you call your uh, spinel. There you go, spinel, whatever. Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, oh, I got a ruby here. Green cast eye. But they're going to be on the uh, the cat. Choo. Oh, no, this is different stuff. All right. Uh, am I buying anything? What are you buying? What do you got there? Nothing interesting. No. no. Uh, that's it, I think. Let's just take a look at my inventory here. Now, at least I opened some space. I don't want to throw the fish away, by God. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put this here. Yes. A rifle ammo. I <clears throat> probably not a wise idea to keep it, huh? I'm I don't even know when the goddamn TMP rifle will come. I'll sell one of them, because it's just it's taking too much damn space here. I'm uh, I'm very unsure when it what comes to having it? three weapons in this game because I don't think you got to sell one. So if I sell the shotgun, can I buy it back again later on? Is that it? That's all. I can't just sell stuff at you know at a loss. So how what much would be a buying? shotgun? It's twenty. Uh, so I lose ten thousand. You know pesetas. What are you selling? Uh. Is that all my rifle ammo? Ten. No, it's ten each. So I want. Is that old stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Right, and then I kept, I kept that. That 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 should be enough space. I'll probably get hit wherever I'm going right now, anyways. Uh, I'll save it here. That's I don't want to do this boring shit again. And then we go on forward. I can't remember what. I got about half an hour left on the SD card, and that should be it. And where am I headed here? I'm going to... Uh, oh, back upstairs, of course. <clears throat> Is that it? Yeah. 
I can't remember what comes up now. Scary as motherfucker. Alright. Oh, boulders for sure. Motherfucking boulders. <laughs> Quick time events. So far I haven't died, but uh, more to do with luck than anything. God damn, Lise. You get off me. If you're watching the capture as the sap here, the leaves that get stuck on my fucking gloves all the damn time. It's fucking disturbing. Okay. Oh, things here. A little barrel. Alright, I gotta be ready for this quick time event. I died here one time, I remember. Where are they? Where are you? It's a tension reference, by the way, if you hear me saying, where are you with that accent? There we go, let's see it. You know, suck on my wiener. I don't know if it's Cody, or, I tell you th th this much, the same thing happened last time on this very spot. Like a press and a button, and apparently not fast enough, I reckon. Uh, well, there you go. Die in a dumbass fucking quick time event. I hate it. I don't like quick time events. I suck at them, yes, granted, but I, what, because I suck at them, I have to like them? I don't like them. I don't, I hate quick time events. How many modern games have quick time events? It's a thing of the past now. In my opinion. All right, let's see. I hate it. <sighs> you see, if you was, you bastards, if you was, oh, this place. If you was L and R, I would have been fucked because well, here it is, if I'm pressing like this. So apparently I tried this. I'm pretty quick, but I think it's just because it's so awkward here. I think like on a gamepad I'm quicker, but I, I won't lie to you, my fingers. Okay, my fingers are cold. Now, I remember that there's jewels here. There we go. Now this part is a lot of ganados, and you know, I might as well have ripped the band-aid anyways and die on that boulder, because I'll probably die here. I, I remember when I played this before I died, I get suffocated in there. There's a lot of ganados. Was that it? One fucking Jew? How dare you. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna have a quick cigarette because I get fucked here big time. It's a big, big pressure, big pre pressure time. Ah, I feel This is uh, intense, this part, for me, you know, for a beginner noob like me. Let's do it. Let's go. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go. Let's fuck some Ganada scum up. I say scum of the poor guys. I wonder, are they like zombies? I need to read more about the lore of this game. So he'll, he'll spot me right away, right? How about we just go crazy? See, quiero matar. I remember this. Try to. The problem is to get those assholes here throwing stuff, you know? I know you can play around with those. Fuck off. God, there's a lot of. Okay, some explosions already. That's great. Fuck you. I'm merely trying to avoid them here and trying to cause them to, to explode somehow. So kind of not really having a solid plan here, really. I'm just kind of running around. I hope, I hope that they come to those things here. Now, I think there's no way on this one, right? Start killing some of those. There we go. 
mierda. Veo, veo. Veo. How would I? Fuck him. What the fuck is right on my fucking face? Wrong button again. Fuckers. God damn it! I need to get a fish here. Wrong fucking button again, man. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck you, Lord Sadler. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, those are thrown things. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going too far with a shotgun here. No! Oh my god. No, 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 no. I sh I fucking shot him. What's going on? Is there a snake going around there? Give me a lawn. I want to check that there's a snake here. Oh, fucking Leon with the fucking reloading, dude. What the fuck is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, there we go. I was right to pursue it then. Damn it, I got fucked here. But you know what? Might as well. I need to use that. I, I'm fucking annoyed with the fish in my uh, head. Oh, shit. The problem I have is with another one? Fuck it! Alright, I had enough. Enough games. Enough fucking games here. Hijo de puta! Go away, dude. Fuck you! I died. I know. I t told you. I told you I would. Did not tell you. And when did I tell you? And what did I tell you? Exactly what just happened. <sighs> Family Guy. Ah, uh, man. It burns me to get killed in this game. It really does. Wait, I gotta do the quick time event again. I'm all the way down in emerging, and I. No. Please tell me, past the quick time event thing. Get, thank God. All right. Uh, I got. I got to use the handgun a little more here. Yeah. Fuck you. All right. I don't know. I I've seen people doing this so gracefully. Going around here and get them to uh Not yet. I think they go up there. He's behind me, isn't it? You fucking asshole. Okay, A button, A button. Holy shit. How many of them there? Yeah, it's grenade time. Blow them to fucking smitterings now. <laughs> Coming on a mate. Oh, I hate it, and none of them give me the kick thing. There we go. Burn him. As William Wallace, William Wallace said in that movie. Burn it. Yeah. Basta, you are a puta. No, you. OK. 
Okay. Fuck it, this guy's a survivor. Alright, bitch. You're gonna eat the fucking blade. Uh, load, reload. But fucking around here, Leon. Reload this shit and let's go. Fucking hurting here, goddammit. Snake, isn't it? I knew it. Fuck you. Yeah, what's up with those snakes around the, uh, yeah, eat the fucking act, dude. Come off it. Yeah, the snakes, uh, before I died there, there were some snakes kind of rolling around. Now, this is what I'm talking about here, so... If, what if I just keep going? Like, I don't know, is it beneficial for you in this game to, um, to avoid ganados? Do you need to kill every ganado ever made? Or I could just go on here and that's it. Is there loot to be had there? Besides of that little house. You know what, by God? I'm just gonna go ahead with it. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll just tell me you can't per you can't proceed. Oh no, I, it allows me. Okay. <clears throat> We made it to the lake, and it's a beautiful day. Outstanding. So, and that probably will be me for this section of the video, as, I can't remember if there's Ganados here. Uh, that'll be me for this section of the video, as I'm at uh, three hours and 46 minutes. Fucking A, I love the yellow herbs. Let's mix that up right, right now. And then tomorrow I'll be facing the Lago, the, the, the monster. And you better believe that I have a major fucking difficulty. What's in here? No. Thought it'd be things. You better believe that I, I have problems with it. Yeah, I sure as hell do, let me tell you. So let me organize this here real quick. Come down here. Uh, you, no, 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 don't do that. What the? I'll use the damn D-pad. What the hell's going on here? Okay. Now I'll move this down here. And leave them fucking label. Come on. Damn label facing the wrong way. All right. And that ought to do it for now. That's it. Oh, my shotgun is loaded. I don't like Yep, it is. Now, let's just take a quick look around before signing off for today. Again, for you, it'll be just a flash in a ways because I'll just edit the video together. Sometimes I wonder if I should do parts of a video. I think that making the capture and the uh, console, the, sorry, the CRT at the same time, make things a bit more, you'll, you'll make things convoluted, I think. <laughs> I always like to... Oh. Shit. Shit just got real, Leon. Fucking sad us all apart here anyways. Love the view. The sounds. Fucking tree trunks and I'll be dealing with them. Be dealing with them shortly. Uh yep, let me go ahead and save the game. <laughs> Oh, that's where I came from, right? Yeah. 
and that should be it for today. Three hours and 50 minutes is enough. Because there's no way I'm going to clear the, the beast in one go. I wonder if I should try it. Passing by outside. No, I don't think you'll be wise. I think I can uh, tomorrow. I'll be more rested and come here and it's light. I'm hungry as hell. I want to go eat my pork steak and my taters that my wife made. And tomorrow I'll come back here for more. Yeah, I'll, yeah, that should be it. All right. Uh, that's it. So I'll be back tomorrow then. All right, without any further ado, let's go and load our saves. Save, not saves. And there we go, that could be a thumbnail. Okay, uh, so we are, oh yeah, we're gonna, well next time we'll save, it's gonna be down below to save file number two, just in case anything goes happen, ha goes, you know, kaput with this recording. There we go, I changed a few settings on the camera. Let me see if, just, as you can see here in the corner of the screen, it likes to pick up the reflection from the chainsaw controller. Again, if you're watching the capture, none of this matters. It's just me talking about the CRT recording. Okay, so... Yeah, so I... Uh, yesterday I came home to take a look at the footage. Le footage. And it sucked. It was very dark. It was terrible. So I changed a few settings today on the camera. And hopefully that'll make it a tiny bit better. Now I don't have time for it, but if you if it's your first time playing, uh, the fish here are abundant, and you should get as many as you could by shooting them here first from this exact spot. Uh, and if you do, you get a, a sort of a prize. Uh, well, a surprise really, with a bigger fish. Yeah, a much bigger fish. Okay, let's go. I'll probably die a lot here. And, yeah. <sighs> Just prepare myself mentally for the... the is those goddamn floating tree stumps, they get me. Alright, let's do it. Let's... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, fucking vape. Not now, monitor. Damn it with those fucking logs, man. I can't hit the damn guy once because of those fucking logs. Look at this. Oh, I got him one time. Okay. Last time I came in here, 
I suffered quite a bit. There we go. Where is he? Fuck. Get it. Get it, you fucker. Alright. Where? Oh. Got him once. Careful now. Oh. Damn it. Quick, 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 quick before the log things. Come on, man! He's doing the sideways bullshit now. Fuck off, you're not knocking me on those damn things. Keep going, keep going, Leon. Okay. No, 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 no. Not doing none of that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what, what the fuck? What is this? No, no, we're not doing that. I right, got him once. Yeah. Oh. Quick, 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 quick. I think is that. No. Oh, 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 landed one. Damn it. Pause the thing again. And I think, I believe it gets faster and faster, doesn't it? Mm, which way? There we go. Not now, monitor. Damn, with this fucking yellowing bullshit. I missed it all, didn't I? Mother! Fuck off! Fucking logs. I'm already fucking up here. Where is he? I can't see a fucking thing, dude. Where am I going? What the fuck? In front of you, Leon. It's in front of you, Leon. He is in front of you, Leon. In front. I'm done. I'm dead. Come on, mother. What's the point? Well done. I hate this part. I hate it. I hate it. I hate, hate, hatred. I fucking hate this bit. I'm terrible at it. I am terrible at this bit. You know what I hate when I'm playing games and there's all sorts sorts of goddamn itches everywhere. The nose, the eyes, the fucking glasses, everything. I'm very unhappy that I fucking got killed there. I don't I don't know. I guess What the fuck was that with the ball? There's just bit to the game. Once I, I get past this here, I'm going to be very happy. Uh. Then I, tr I try to evade those fucking things. I'm not... I never hit this bastard. Like this, how do I... And I feel like those logs are everywhere all the time. I can't fucking evade them. Look at this. Come on, come on. I want to hit him once. Look at this. By the time I, I, I'm able to physically pick up the fucking harpoons, it's fucking long gone. Fucking logs are here already. Can I do this? Like go all the way here and then there's Okay. What the hell? Why'd you put that down? Will this fucking monitor knock off with a fucking yellow and random yellow and bullshit? I can't believe I I'll... Okay, before I start throwing shit. You 
fucking sack of shit, you. Alright, I got him one time there. I'm, I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna come to... No! I fucking went straight into him! Fuck off! Those fucking cling ass leaves, man! Fucking come off it! Like this, where the fuck am... How do I... Okay, quick, quick, Leo. You got it. Alright. Which way, which way, which way you... Okay, I was able to react. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't fuck around here. Don't fuck around. Pick up the harpoon. Okay, there we go. Alright, I got a good feeling about this one. Come on, pick up the fucking harpoons, dude. It's taking forever, goddamn you. Taking fucking forever to pick up the harpoons. It's horrible. Which way? Which way? Come on. Come on, where? Bastard. Okay, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Fucking leaves, man. I don't know. Don't want to use this shit again. Get off me. Alright, uh, I've done worse there. Way, way worse. Way worse. So, uh, I was surprised I killed him the second time. Not to my own horn, I'm just saying it's just a goddamn fact. I've, I've done way worse there, and it took me a while to kind of get it, you know. But, uh, CRT Rex, you said you played a game, uh, only one time before. Are you a lying sack of shit? No. Here's what happened. Let me go ahead and go to the save screen here. Yep. And we're gonna save in a second bit. Let's make sure it's there. And I'll smoke a goddamn cigarette here, vape, whatever the fuck. <sighs> yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, I'm being kind of dramatic. Because before... So, okay, let me explain to you. If you cut here for some fucking reason, you know, because I'm, you know, fast forward or something. Because I mentioned it earlier in the, the playthrough. So what happened is I played this game on the Wii before, and this was literally to be my second uh, playthrough of the game. But as usual, a bunch of bullshit with the recording, a bunch of bullshit with the, my memory card, and blah, blah, blah. So this is technically the fifth fucking time I played this section. No, this section is the second time. The first section... So the first four hours of recording uh, up to the lake to get into, physically get into the lake, this uh, that was my fifth time and this is my second time. So the other playthrough that went to the trash because my memory card was a Chinese hunk of shit, a knockoff piece of crap, it it got corrupted and I lost all my my saves. Uh, not the first time. So I I broke, I broke it, the, uh, destroyed it with a ball pin hammer and if you this is pieces of it I keep it as a souvenir okay and it, I, I'm not one for destroying hardware I never broke a single controller in my life or anything like that in a feat of rage but this memory card 
was evil and uh, not worth anybody using as a detriment because you usually think you have a memory, a good memory card, but then you lose all your save, saves randomly. So nobody will ever go through that piece of shit again. So if I die someday and somebody comes here in my shed and see, sees my artifacts, you know, my regalia, my paraphernalia, uh, my old retro stuff, and see that memory card, they might use it. And I wouldn't wish that even after I'm dead on anyone. Okay? Uh, you can get the memory card pro as well. So, up until, so this is the second time I get you this uh, Del Lago. Well, uh, third time if you count the first time I played as a Wii. And, and all of them I did very poorly. So this is the first time that I kind of did okay. But the last playthrough that went, you know, to the trash can because the memory card, that was a whole lot of suffering. You know, uh, it's a shame that I got lost through the ages. You know, so I'm going to have a quick smoke here and continue. And the reason I'm saving it here is because if something goes wrong with this recording, and that's what happened with my uh, my memory card one. Uh, well, with the memory card, I'm kind of screwed. Actually, that's kind of dumb. I'm saying this. If anything happens with my recording, as far as the camera or Elgato or any of that bullshit, I can return to the lake where I was the first time. Whereas if something gets fucked and I overwrite the save. Now I gotta start the game from the beginning, and even as much as I love this game, I think I'd rather blow my brains out because, for fuck's sake, there's a limit. Yeah, of repetition. It's not for me. If this was any other game with the shenanigans with the saves and all that, I would have just uh, given up on it, to be honest. 